attention please. Please do not smoke in the terminal building. Smoking is only permitted in the specified smoking areas. Thank you. Sayın yolcular, lütfen terminallerdeki sigara içme yasağına uyunuz. Sadece işaretlerle gösterilen bölümlerde sigara içilebilir. Teşekkürler. What is going on, guys? How's everybody doing? <laughs> All right. So I was going to do the... Uh, the no slack washington airport that i started in the let's play series but i think today we're gonna go for something different i think we're gonna try to build like a giant giant freaking airport how about that Yeah, I'm trying to accommodate uh, pretty much everybody, you know, uh, people that are watching in Australia, in the uh, in Europe, in the States, you know, trying to get everybody to get in on here. Alright, sounds fun. Yep, let's go ahead, let's just start a new airport. Um, oh, this is the first time it's actually presented like a, a woman. Nice. Still can't uh, really choose between male and female here on the, uh, you know, the screen or whatever, but anyways. Alright. <laughs> Alright, everybody's saying that uh, they're good. Excellent. Uh, so we're going to start... Um, let's see. Yeah, let's just stick with this. That looks good. Suit. See, but... Okay, and you can't change the suit anymore? Is it because it's a woman? Huh, interesting. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's pick a name out here. Um, change the face. Okay, fine. I'll change the face. And I'll also name it after you, Madeline. Um, fit, ooh, oh, oh, oh. Should we give her some purple hair? You know what? Let's give her some white hair. I don't know why I just like that. Uh, skin color is fine. Eyes. Green kind of freaks me out, so I'm going to change that up a little bit. Uh, we'll go with regular brown. And I think we'll keep everything else the same. So we'll do Madeline. And, um, hmm. Orange apple, thank you very much, buddy. Awesome, sweet. Uh, Madeline. Oh, man, what should we do for the last name? I always have trouble figuring out names. Let me know. G give me a heads up in the chat. What should we do for the last name? Um, Sim Airport or Airport CEO. I'm going to hold off on that for a few more days at least. Um, turn down the game volume. I can't turn down the game volume. It is, uh, it's stuck at what it's at. Yeah, it'll, it'll change. Once I go actually into the game, it'll change. Don't worry. Um, game audio is loud. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that, guys. No slack. You guys want it to be battle line. No slack. I don't know. Why white? Because it's, it's interesting. What's wrong with white? <laughs> Dork. Uh, no slack is the last name. Okay, fine, we'll do that. Madeline, no slack. Madeline, no slack. Let's go ahead and go. She better do a good job. Now, where are we going to do the airport? Uh, we Last time we did one in... Where was it? Oh, man, I don't even remember. The last live stream we did, where was the airport? Doesn't matter. Where are we going to do the new one? 
Um, and I want to do, I want to do a giant one. I want to do, not amazing, what's up buddy? Um, I want to do a giant, giant airport. We're going to try to get like, a, you know, the big dogs coming in. Do one in Canada, Portland, Miami, the ocean. <laughs> Can we do one in the ocean? Yeah. I wonder, how will that work if we do one in the ocean? Wow, okay, it actually lets me. Um, hmm, this will be interesting. <laughs> this will be interesting, let's see. Uh, airport name. Ocean. Uh, I don't know. Oceania? <laughs> that's even how that's pronounced. Uh, the code will be C. And again, we're going to do easy so we have the cash. And you know what, let's see where... Are we going to actually be able to build on water? Wow, okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, I'm kind of curious to see if we're going to actually get people to come in here, though. Hmm. Seaport. Yeah, you know what? Uh, that's a great idea. I should have done seaport. Dang it. Anyways. Um, Alright. So we're going to do a big, 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 big build today. And I think I want to do... Um, I'm going to do that Y terminal that somebody suggested. You know, where you kind of build... Um, you've got your entrance, but then you've got your little Y shape here. And then you could put the, um, the airplane stands on each side of what's going to be an actual terminal. So, and I, I really wish there was a planning tool here. Um, I don't think they've added that. Areas, no. Items, no. It's going to be in structures, if anywhere. Floor, wall, no, 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 no. No planning tool yet. Um, hopefully that's something that they'll incorporate, though. Uh, where's Interstellar Transport Company? It's it's not coming anytime soon, just to be honest with you. Um, make sure to leave room for expansion, absolutely. Cool new game, absolutely, I agree it is a cool new game. Um, very, very fun so far. Alright, let's start building. Uh, infrastructure, we're going to do the road, right? And I'm thinking, let's do something like... And then... Uh, yeah, we'll kind of go this way. And then I'm going to want to build the bus stop. Uh, we're going to build the bus stop. Should we build it over here? But that way they're going to have to kind of come backwards. Um, let's see. We'll do a bus stop here and here. And then let's go ahead and do the car drop-offs. We're going to do those suckers right there. And that's all we're going to do for now, I guess. But you know what? Let's do one more. We'll do one more, and then we'll come right back down here. And then just circle back around. Actually, you know, I think I want to circle back down here so it doesn't interfere with these guys. Um, bam, bam, bam. Alright, looking good there. Then we're going to build some sidewalks over here, too. Something like so. And like so. All right, let's go ahead and let's get those workers hired in here. Uh, nope, wrong one. All right, operations, construction. Oh, we haven't done the contract yet. Economy, contracts, builders. This will give us 73 builders at $8.90 an hour. Not bad. Let's go ahead, we'll sign that contract. And let's go ahead and bring these guys in. Deploy all. Thank you very much. These guys are going to show up and hopefully start knocking this out. Patty Warmick, I'm playing airport CEO while watching this. Awesome. Complex doesn't make a game better, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, it doesn't. Complex doesn't make a game better. But you know what? In this case, I think it is. Because they've added so much stuff to do and it all seems to have a purpose. So, that's the key, right? If you're going to add something to the game, it better have a purpose. And for the most part, it seems like these guys did a pretty good job of doing that. So... Uh, yeah, workers who stand in your office even though it's not zoned, right? Um, apparently, from what I've heard, is that the zoning doesn't quite work for employees yet. So, we'll figure that out. So, these guys are knocking this out. Beautiful. Uh, I kind of I wish these buses would be a little bit more intelligent with how they come in. 
I would prefer for them to come in down here and then come around this way and do what they have to do and then leave again this way. That's what I would prefer, but apparently that's not something that's going to happen. So, oh well. Anyways, so this is going to be like the center of our airport over here. Uh, I think I want to do, you know, the typical little uh, area where we're going to do our gate agents, or not our gate agents, but our uh, checking counters. And then we're going to do, you know what, let's kind of expand this even more. Just a little bit more. Nothing too crazy, but uh, yeah. And then, so that's going to be like our little main terminal. We're obviously going to have to do security and all that stuff up here. Mm, and then I think they're going to come in, and then this is where we're going to do kind of like the Y shape up here. What do you guys think? One-way roads are planned in the future. Good. Take away the right side of the road near deliveries. Oh, you're... Well, no, because then I want them to actually leave this way, though. Actually, no, you're right. But but then, you know what? If I leave that... If I take this out and I just leave this, it'll cause a traffic jam because when they're dropping stuff off, they won't be able to go through here. Which I guess, you know what? They can't do that anyways. You know, let's give it a shot. Bulldozer. We're going to bulldoze this right here. And then that should do what we want it to do then, I think. If we do that, you know what, we probably could have just bulldozed this whole this whole side of the road. We'll see if that works. Um, eventually. Let's go ahead and take out these walls. We don't need them. And we need to add in a door. Pronto. Because these guys are stuck right now. Uh, so I'm thinking let's go ahead and add in a few doors, actually. Uh, I kind of want to make this, we'll, we'll do a door all the way here on the, the right and the left. And then maybe we'll do two right here in the center. I believe that's the center. Uh, six and six, yep. Bam. Beautiful, beautiful. I like it, I like it. Okay. We can do some restrooms over here. Uh, these will be for the people coming in. So let's go ahead and do something like this. Yep, like that, like that, split it down the middle, we'll go ahead and put some doors in there too, and this will be for uh, men and women, I'm not going to do the unisex restrooms, we're going to do it proper, uh, like in real life, well I know there's unisex bathrooms in real life, but they typically aren't made for, you know, six people or ten people to go in at the same time, right, anyways, uh, items, we're going to do the sinks, we're going to do these suckers along the wall right here. Must be placed inside bathroom. Okay. I wish you would let me place it and then designate it a bathroom. But, uh, whatever. Whatever. So we're good there. Items, let's go ahead and start putting these in. And I think we're just going to do the two sinks. And we'll do the same thing over here. So we're going to do the trash cans, right? Necesito el trash canos. My Spanish is very good. If you guys haven't noticed, uh, we've got that going. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do the toilets. I uh, will make this one female, and we're gonna make this one over here male. So we're gonna do oh, I don't know three toilets, and then uh, let's do four urinals. And bam, bam, beautiful. Are they using those roads the right way? I'm gonna have to check that out here in a little bit. All right, so we're looking good. Let's go ahead and designate this. This is gonna be female. This over here is going to be male. Beautiful, beautiful. Got doors there. They can leave whenever they want to. They're just not doing it for some reason. And then also, let's go ahead and just put down the uh, the flooring while we're at it. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do this uh, little tiled flooring over here. So that's all ready for us there. Um, I'm also thinking we should probably do a little bit of information desks. But before we do that... I kind of want to make like a little hallway to, um, I want to make a little, what, what's going to be the hallway to go to um, the terminal. So we'll do something right there. What's that? Five, so five by five. We'll do the same thing over here. Five by five. And then this is kind of going to be our main like ticketing area over here. Oh yeah, is it working? Is it working? Do they need to bring more stuff? Man, I really need to pay more attention to that. <laughs> I love crack. Okay. <laughs> um, 
How much is Motorsport Manager worth on Steam? Worth? I don't know how much it's worth, but I think it costs something like six or seven bucks. It's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Definitely worth it. Stop discrimination. Uh, but I need to go drink at an Oktoberfest event. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Take it easy. All right, buddy. See you later. Crystal meth is healthy. No, no, it's not. No slack. What happened to RimWorld? I was enjoying that series. Yeah, I'm enjoying it too. It just seems like not too many people really are enjoying it on the channel. It's it's not getting uh, it's not getting the views, guys. I mean, it's just uh, I love playing it. Don't get me wrong, but I, I want to do videos that you know more people enjoy. So if RimWorld gets a thousand views, but Academia gets 2,500, I'm gonna go with Academia. You know, just people seem to like it more. Not saying that's a bad thing. I mean, it's definitely a fun game, but I'd prefer RimWorld, but, you know, hey, that's just me. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and check out the airport security. Uh, we're going to have to do bigger security in this airport, um, just because uh, we're going to have a lot of flights coming in and out. Um, so, let's go ahead, let's designate this as a secure area. Uh, dun, 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 dun. We'll do something like that. Let's do something like that right there. Bam, bam, secure area, beautiful, beautiful. Now we can go ahead, we can put in those security checkpoints. Mm -hmm. We'll put one right there, we'll put one along this wall right there, we'll do the same thing over here. Beautiful, that should definitely be more than enough. And now we can see if these guys come in the right way. Right, because we should get those security uh, checkpoints delivered. Really? They already magically got delivered that fast? Interesting. Interesting. Alright. So we're going to clearly need, what, 4, 8, 12, 16? We're going to need at least, I'm going to say, 20 security to run that. That's going to be in the future. Um, let's go ahead and start building some of these other things, like the check-in discs that we need. And I, I think I'm going to try to do the baggage system, which, I don't know. You forgot to secure it. Oh, yeah, I did forget the secure exits. You know what? Nope. No, I didn't. That is something I can do very, very, very easily. Um, we're going to do... You know what, though? We should probably... I didn't forget. I was going to kind of do them here in the center, and they could pop out here. But then, you know what? That doesn't make sense. Because I think we're going to need a separate area for our baggage. And I kind of want that to be... I think I'm going to kind of want that to be over here. But you know what, for now, I think we are going to need it. Just real quick. Before we actually build the uh, the baggage area, we're going to need to do this. Because um, we do want to start kind of making money before we go off and building stuff that we absolutely don't need right away. Um, what's up, Flight Brazil? Rio de Janeiro, huh? I'd love to visit there. Love to visit. Um, so we're going to do the foundation. Um, let's do that sucker right there. Then we're going to have to delete this wall right there, right? And then I'm going to want to... You know what? I think we're going to leave that wall. Actually, no. We're going to delete that wall. I think we're going to need to do something like that. Then we might be able to actually put in two of them. Not a 100% positive if we are. Um, structures. Nope. Items. Security exit. We're going to place that sucker there. Okay, good. We will be able to do two of them. Um, but I think we're going to have to delete this wall as well. Yeah, we're going to have to delete that too. Not going to be an issue though. Come on guys, work a little bit faster. Must be placed inside a secure zone. Alright, alright, I can do that. I can do it. Secured zone, yada yada yada. Bam. And now let's go ahead and do that. Security exit. Okay, we have to delete two more little squares here. Swing and swing. Should be good there. Let's go ahead and put a little wall down. And yep wall right well let's just do it in between and we'll do something like that too alright 
we're gonna be good there obviously we're gonna delete that wall but we have to build the foundation a little bit more uh, so foundation let's do four five wide let's do five wide let's do something like that and then um, over here in this area we can kind of build the uh, the offices or whatnot oh, see they're not even going the way we want them to go look at that all right you know what I'm just gonna give them back that road uh, <laughs> they're not doing the one-way thing that we want them to do all right we'll expand this road again we'll put it back didn't work the way we want it to work but oh well oh well what's going on here no pathing or something all right um, so yeah we're clearly gonna have to delete these uh, so we'll do something like that and then we'll do something like that and that obviously good 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 knocking that out looking good too I like it I like it This is going to be like our main walkway over here, and then let's figure out how large these uh, medium stands are. Because I'm going to want to do multiple of them. And I'm thinking the taxiway needs to be... Okay, if we do something like that... See, we wouldn't really be able to do... If we did one right there, we wouldn't really be able to do another one right there and have enough room for the taxiway that only give us one or two that would give us two tiles for the taxiway which is not going to be enough so if that's going to give us two i want to do at least five so i'm thinking let's do one that'll give us three that'll give us four i'd like to do an even number um which kind of sucks or an odd number um, just for symmetrical purposes. Um, let's build out this wall too. It's kind of bugging me over here. These little gaps. And, um, yeah, we'll expand this wall down here too. Hopefully we'll get flights here soon though. Um, so we've got that going for us. Let's go ahead and now expand this. Um, and it's not going to be symmetrical anymore, but you know what, I think we'll, we'll just have to live with that. So the foundation, we're going to expand. This is going to be... Uh, do something like this. Uh, no, because then that's going to force us to actually... Hmm... expand this that way. 4x5. Four we'll do 4x5 here as well. What are you guys saying in the chat? I uh, feel this is a lot better than Air Sim. You mean Sim Airport? Sim, Sim Air is more cartoonish and easier to get into. Yep, I agree with that 100%. This is a lot more in-depth. Absolutely right. Seems out that there's a hole in the middle. Yeah, I know. It'll get filled in with uh, offices and like staff rooms and stuff like that. Have two runways, one for inbound planes, the other for outbound planes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Medium stand is bigger. Uh, yep. True Airport CEO requires you to be able to learn very quickly. Uh, yep. Shops, baggage routing in the middle, all that good stuff. Yep, yep, yep. That space is definitely going to get filled in. And you know what? If it's annoying you, um, you know what? I was going to fill it in, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it. Bulldozer, let's get rid of the wall right there. Let's get rid of this wall right here. And now we should be somewhat ready to put in those uh, those airplane stands. Um, medium stand, okay. So we're going to orient it this way. Now if you put this right here, you know what, we're going we're gonna to pause the game real quick. I'm going to put that right, that's going to cost us $150,000 though. Put that there. Let's just do it. Maybe a little bit closer. That is two squares in. If we put that there, and then if we rotate this and put this two squares in, that'll give us a nice. Oh boy. Okay, so this taxiway here is going to be how far apart? Six. Okay, it's not going to be in the center, but you know what? That's. That's just going to have to do, I guess. 
So we'll be able to do a taxiway going up all the way over there. Oh, you know what? Hold on, I'm gonna delete that. I keep doing this. I kind of wish there was a, uh, like the default option wasn't grass. But at least it gives me a return. Um, so we're gonna do the asphalt taxiway. And we're gonna put this sucker up here. And then um, I'm gonna do more, more stands. So I think we're gonna do another one. You know, we'll do four for now, but we are gonna expand even more. And like I said, we are gonna build it out and we're actually gonna put some more on both sides. But that's gonna be good for, uh, for now, for what we're gonna do. Um, we can go ahead and resume the game. And then clearly we're gonna have to expand out this way, right? Because they're gonna need a larger area for actual, um, like seating and stuff. So we'll do something like this. So we expanded what three tiles that way. So we'll do three tiles this way. And then we can go ahead and go boom. Just like that. And that should be good. That'll allow us plenty of room for seating and stuff. Over here we can maybe do some shops or something. Uh, I haven't really messed with shops too much. But it's definitely something that we're gonna do. Now what are you giving me for a little warning here? This is one of the new things that they just added in the patch. Which I think that's gonna go bye bye. Because clearly they can come over here and they can do whatever they need to do. So I'm really hoping that goes away. Anyways, we're looking decent right there. A lot of deliveries. A lot and a lot of deliveries. And I don't think we can do... Uh, can we do another contract? I don't think we can do two at a time. Uh, medium contract. 92 people at six. See, we can't do this one. Uh, cancel the current contract. Okay, we'll do that. Mm, let's see. Economy contracts uh, accepted. Uh, cancel contract. Yes, we're going to cancel that one. Cancel. And then we're going to go do this medium one, which is the 92 people at 6.3. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sign that. And then let's go ahead and let's bring all these in. Deploy all. So, yeah, we have 73 deployed. You know what? That might be another bug. Because we have 73 deployed, and it's bringing us a lot... Oh, no, it didn't bring us a lot more. It only brought us 19 more. But still, 19 more is better than nothing. Get rid of this wall. Get rid of this wall. And we're going to have to do a restroom in the actual terminal area too, right? So maybe that's something that we'll actually do over here. Which, you know what, let's go ahead and just do that now? Oh, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. I want to watch these builders actually do this stuff. Make sure they knock it out all nice. Looking good there. We're going to demolish that wall once they kind of get a little bit closer to building it. And we kind of need to think of our service roads too, right? We're going to have to do... And I, I'm going to leave this here because we're going to be able to expand. So I don't want to put the service road like too close to this wall. So I'm thinking we're going to have to do the service road over here in this area. Uh, we'll do something like... Uh, come out this way and then we'll do the checkpoint over here um, we're gonna do it like so and then we can kind of have the service road come in this way and the service road is going to be asphalt again and then the service road can come out that way a lot of building for these guys lots and lots of building But this is going to be huge. I want to get so many freaking uh, airplane stands in here. I'm going to try to, you know, test the limits. I'm going to test the limits. It's unsymmetrical. Look, one side is three tiles, one side is five tiles. Oh, you're right. You are correct. Mm. Yep, five tiles, three tiles. You're right. I messed up. I messed up. So we'll do two more. Yeah, I thought it kind of looked a little bit off, but didn't catch it. Didn't catch it. See, this is one of those things that I like about uh, doing the live streams, which this is only the third live stream I've ever done, and I, I think I prefer it to just doing the regular old videos because I get to interact with you guys. Um, yes, I have thought of console gaming. I've done, I think, one or two videos from the console. It's just so much harder to record uh, from the console. I have one of those little Elgato HD60s. Um, it works, everything is good, it's just, it takes so much longer, There's, it's a much tougher process, and um, like I said, it's just, it's just harder, and then a lot more editing actually goes into 
um, doing the, uh, oh, no, 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 hold on. Wow, I actually made that a road? <laughs> okay. I actually built a road there. That was pretty silly. Um, but yeah, you know what, I've done console gaming, uh, PS4, I've done the PS4. And I don't do it where I just record off the PS4, I actually do it off of a, uh, off of like a uh, console recorder, one of those Elgato HD60s. If you don't know what it is, I uh, highly suggest you look it up. They're pretty cool. So we're good here. Uh, we need to extend the foundation. One, two, three, four, five. This is what we need to do here. Okay. All right, foundation. Yeah, we should be good. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's start putting some of those desks down too. Um, so we're gonna do the check-in desks. We're gonna do these suckers over here. Uh, and I think we're gonna leave, should we maybe do, should we do them over here? No, I think we're, we need to do them in the center, right? I think that just makes a little bit more sense. Actually, you know what we could do? Uh, I'm thinking maybe we could like put them around here like this. What do you guys think? Where should we put the check-in desks? Should we just do them along this wall over here and then have this for like offices and then we could do restrooms over here? I'm thinking we could do offices and like staff room over here. We could do offices over here. Uh, no, offices, staff room here. We could do like restrooms over here. Uh, those will be like large restrooms servicing uh, the entire airport. And then we could do these check-in desks over here, or we could do the check-in desks like kind of along all three of these walls right here. What do you guys think? Along the wall, along the wall, in the center, along the wall. Mm, along the wall, okay. We'll just do it along the wall then. Uh, so, but we are going to leave a little gap so that people can kind of like walk in there. So let's do something like, and I want to make sure that this is, this is all good. That I think is the center right there. So three, three, bam, that looks pretty good, I think. Nope, it's not. It's not right. It's not right. One of the walls is a little bit, uh. Let's see, okay. Uh, can we. Sh mm. Didn't, uh. We've got little two squares there, right? We've got the wall, then the two squares, the wall, the two squares. And then it's just something's not right this one is off. There's no, like, real center there. Uh, that kind of sucks. Alright, let's replan this. And I'm not a huge stickler for things being, like, perfect, uh, but, um, you know what I mean? If we can get it to look nice and pretty, let's get it to look nice and pretty, you know? Mm, so we'll do something like the, the two-gap, like I wanted. We'll do the two-gap, like I wanted over here. Let's do one gap, one gap. Let's see if we do. Then we can do something like this. And yeah, oh, you know, that worked out pretty dang well. That worked out pretty beautifully. Look at that. Put them right next to each other. No, 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 no. I don't think that looks good. Just like one huge giant row. Mm, love watching your. Thank you, Florian. That means a lot. Really, it does. Really. Um, alright, Royal Gamer, have a good one. Alright. Perfectionist. No, not a perfectionist. Definitely not. But, like I said, if we can make it look nice and pretty, why not make it look nice and pretty? Uh, and that'll allow us plenty of room for doing the cues right there, too. And, yeah, we're looking good. We are looking good. Uh, we're at just over a million bucks, so we've spent half of our money. So we really want to do kind of focus on bringing in uh, everything that we need for um, getting these planes to come in. So let's come over here. We're going to have to hire uh, one of our board members, right? We're going to have to do the procurement director so we can get the, uh, the gas. Uh, we can research that. Let's filter procurement director. Bam, bam, bam. Doesn't really matter who we choose. Um, sure, Arvi, you're hired. Thank you for coming in. Also, I kind of do want to adjust these shifts. We're going to try to do, like, let's do seven-hour shifts. People complain too much for eight. They're good with six. 
So we'll do seven. It's right there in the middle. Hopefully, and see, it just went right back down to six for some reason. <laughs> All right. So we've got our procurement director. Let's go ahead and do the uh, procurement of. We have a procurement director. Thank you very much. We are going to do the jet A1 fuel because we're going to we're not going to do general aviation. We're just going to go straight to commercial aircraft. So we're going to be researching jet A1 fuel. Once that's done, we can go ahead, we can research the truck, the fuel truck, and then we're also going to research, or we don't have to research the, um, the tanks. We can actually put those down. So I think we're going to be good here. We're going to want to put, um, you know what, if we do, hmm, this is going to be interesting. If we do expand upwards, then we're going to need to uh, leave room for the um, the terminal to expand upwards too. Let's go ahead and let's bulldoze this. And then we're going to put a wall there too. Uh, road. Wall. Wall right there. Wall right there. So, service road is what I want to do. Um, and if we do the service road, let's go ahead and let's do asphalt. Um, we are going to go something like... How wide are these? Well, maybe we won't do another... Oh, maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's figure this out. Medium stands. If we put one right there. And you know what? We can't... That's, which is really stupid, because that's a service road, man. Okay, you know what? Oh, well. We'll just leave it the way it is. So we'll do something like that. Uh, we will do the service road, uh, but you know what? That's that's concrete. Upgrade asphalt. Upgrade asphalt. I know we're wasting money here, but uh, kind of want to make it look nice. Service road, asphalt. We're gonna expand this up here, and then let's come around here. the heck happened? Did this not get built properly? Um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six tiles wide. This is one, two, three, four, five tiles wide. I, I was pretty sure I did it the right way. Huh, we'll just expand this by one more then. It's getting a little buggy. It's getting a little buggy. Do they have cargo planes in the game? No, not yet. I don't know if they will, but they don't have them now. Two runways becomes expensive quickly for maintenance? Yep, I bet. Is this some airport? No, this is not some airport. This is a completely different game. Uh, this game just came out maybe, what, two days ago? Three days ago, tops? And it is, uh, I mean, similar with Sim Airport as in you run a freaking airport, you know, a giant airport. But uh, no, it's not It's not the same game. Not the same game at all. Workers going hard. Let's delete this little inner wall here. No need for that. All right, we're getting close. We're getting close, and it's funny because all of these people right now are gonna have to leave this one little exit, which uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's something that we want to do. I'm thinking we're probably gonna want to do that somewhere else. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Let's get planes coming in here first, though. Uh, we'll upgrade this just to make it look nice. Uh, did we research that uh, Jet A1 fuel though? Procurement, Jet A1 fuel, almost done. One hour, six minutes. And let's see, so we're going to have to expand this service road. Um, we are going to do... Come on. I want to kind of have it match up with this. So let's do... Nope, nope, nope. We can go a little bit further then. So we'll do something like this. Bam. Bam. And then we're going to need to connect the service road up here. Uh, so we can do something like that. And like 
that. Because both of these need to be connected, right? And then we're going to put all of our services along that road. Once they start getting that knocked out. Um, we're looking good here. I think we have everything that we need to have. Uh, we obviously need to hire all the employees and all that stuff. I know that. Uh, let's start focusing on the gates. So we're going to do boarding desks. I think we're going to do two each. Must be placed inside a secure zone. Okay, so this whole area needs to be secured. Which absolutely makes sense. Uh, while we're at it, let's just go ahead and secure this entire... No, we can't. Okay, I thought we could uh, secure the actual like airplane stands, but I guess not. Looking good. Bam, bam, bam. Finish this little area here. Attach it. And we should be good. That should be all the securing that we need to do. Boarding desk. Again, we're going to do two. I think two per. Make sure that's uh, yep facing the right way. Let's do... Uh, we'll do them here. Bam, and bam. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Three, three away? Yeah, three away. Bam, and bam. Do the same thing over here, just flip it. Yep, and they're a little bit off uh, because they're on the opposite sides. But we're going to flip that. We're going to put this sucker right there. We're going to put that sucker right there. Do the same thing over here. Bam, bam. Good, good, good. So we should be getting ready to go here pretty soon. Pretty, pretty soon. And this is going to be a freaking, this is going to be a giant airport. Freaking giant. Uh, Orange Apple, to answer any questions. You know what, dude? Heck yeah. Here. Bam. Again, thank you very much for that super chat, uh, Orange Apple. It means a lot. It really does. All right. So we're looking good. All the boarding desks are installed. Almost. Two more to go. Those are going to get done here very soon. Now I think we can go ahead and we can do the fueling services that we're going to need. Um, which those are... Not here yet. Um, I always forget something. Structures? Okay, here we are. Structures, we're going to do the fuel depot. And we're going to do this over here. Somewhat close. Um, so, you know what, first, let's go ahead and do the vehicle depot. We can do that sucker, like, right... Ooh, that would actually fit perfectly. We'll do the fuel depot, or the vehicle depot, right there. We'll do the uh, fuel depot right alongside it. And then, alongside, uh, across from it. And then we'll give them uh, some fuel tanks. I think that's going to be good there. Yeah, it's going to be solid right there. That'll fit. And then, oh, no, you know what, I think I put down the wrong one. And I always do that. I think. I think I put down the wrong one. No, I did the right one. Because we only have the Jet A1 fuel right now. So, bam. Let's redo this. Bam. We're good. Uh, after that's done. Actually, I think before that's done, I think we can do one of these fuel chunks. No. We have to wait until they actually install the basic fuel depot and the, uh, uh, the fuel tank to go with it. Which they should get that knocked out pretty, pretty soon. All right, we're down to 684,000 bucks. Yeah, this is a new airport, John Ray. Scotland. <laughs> you know, Scotland, that's another place I'd really like to visit sometime. Really would. Here, it's beautiful over there. All right, knock out this basic fuel depot, guys. Come on. Come on, knock it out. Knock it out, please. Good, good, good. Um, let's order. I think I'm going to want to do like maybe three or four even fuel trucks. One for pretty much each gate that we have. Uh, that might be a little excessive, but I think it's what we want to do. Um, do we need to attach anything? Connect the baggage bay. We don't have one. Build queue. I guess we should build the queue, right? Get this, uh, get this knocked out. So, build queue. Let's kind of do this. Uh... Bam, 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 
Now I wish we could just kind of like copy that for everything. This is going to be a little, a little silly that we're just going to have to do this for everything. This one might have to be a little bit different since it's attached so close. No, we'll do the same. Here, I think we're going to go the opposite direction because it's on the other side. Something like that. Do essentially the same thing over here. Looking good. And we definitely need janitors, right? Because that's filthy. That's disgusting flooring right there. Good, good, good. Looking good there. Let's go ahead and do the queues over here as well. Build queue. Bam. Bam. Uh, we'll leave that little gap there. Mm, I think that should be good. We'll say that's good enough. Yeah, I definitely like the queue system over here a lot more than uh, than on Sim Airport. The queue system there was kind of a pain in the butt to build. I should have went the other way. We will do you know over here. We'll just do something like that. Make it a little bit larger. Good, good, good. Should be all good there. We're going to leave it the, uh, the way it is over here. We won't do the queues right there. Um, I think it's time to start building or to start hiring some employees. But I do want to do another uh, one, at least one uh, more fuel truck. We're going to have to do the fuel contracts too, right? Let's go ahead and get into that. Uh, fuel, medium. Um, you can deliver, what is it? This is going to cost us for the Jet A1 fuel, 009. This one here, small, small, this one medium, it's going to cost us 009. Okay, let's just go ahead and sign that one. Uh, they should start bringing the fuel, which they did really, oh no, that was, yeah, wow, they already, no, they didn't bring the fuel, that was just a, uh, one of our trucks that got done. Here comes the fuel. Reload that sucker. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, we really are going to be able to start accepting flights very, very soon. Need an attached boarding desk. Okay, no problem. We can do that. Connect stand. Bam. Connect stand. Bam. Do the same thing over here. Same thing over here. Bam. 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 Okay, good. Uh, no sense getting the fuel if planes can't land, get the runway already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, small runway. Yeah. Okay, should we do two runways or should... You know what? I'm just going to do one for now. Just one for now. Um, and let's see. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five. So I think we're going to do... Do something like that. We'll do something like that. We'll do the taxiway foundation, which is going to be asphalt again. We're going to put that sucker right there. And then this is going to be five wide, right? Yep, that's going to be perfect. Five wide. And then, yeah, I was watching your guys' comments in the last stream and on the actual videos of the Let's Play series. We don't need to connect the taxiways over here on the sides. We can just connect them over here. I got you. I got you. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, so the runway is coming in here. Let's go ahead. I want to bring in at least one more truck. Uh, that's all good there. Can we do anything else? Can we research anything else? I don't think we really need to right now. Um, we are going to do the 
I guess I'll try the baggage handling service, but uh, you know what? I think I want to do the food franchises or the, the shop upgrades first before we do that. And I know it maybe doesn't make sense. You probably want the baggage handling system, but I feel like that's going to be thing like that's going to be the uh, the harder thing uh, to do. All right, we are going to get rid of a lot of these workers soon because they're eating up a lot of our money. We are down to 471,000, so I definitely want to get um, planes coming in here sooner rather than later. Um, let's slow down time. Can we open the stand? Uh, requires a taxiway connection. Okay. Taxiway is not even close to being done yet. And I do want to upgrade this too to asphalt. Good, good, good. Knock that stuff out for me, guys. Come on. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Hmm. What's up, Mr. Gamer? I like planes. <laughs> uh, is this the same airport? No, this is a different airport, Mr. Gamer. This is not the Let's Play uh, airport. All right, knock that out, guys. Come on. We are full on gas. Should be good there. We've got the checkpoint. Uh, we do need to hire the employees. Uh, boy, lots to do, lots to do. I don't really want to hire them right now just because it is going to... Uh, it's going to eat into our money even faster. I need you guys to build this stuff ASAP. All right, let's do the taxiway connection. Um, taxiway nodes. So this is going to just have to be... Let's see. Taxiway nodes, yep. I think we're going to do two different ones. We're going to do... One there, and then we're going to do one there. Ooh, that doesn't look right. I wanted to do it that way because we don't have, like, a dead center. Um... Yeah, let's not let's not do that. So we'll just have to have them go down that one one way. And that's something that they should delete like right away, right? Because they don't have to physically go to put down the uh, the taxiway node. So why would they have to physically go there to remove it? Anyways, um, so we are gonna connect this sucker here. That sucker there. Do the same thing over here for all of these. And then we're going to connect the runway. So this is going to come over here. This is going to come over here. And then we're going to have to do finish the runway, right? Taxiway, foundation, asphalt, and we're going to do it like right there. And we'll do the same thing over here. What did we do? We did five. Okay, so I want to do the same thing over here. Five... Bam, perfect. We're going to have to put down the taxiway nodes after that's done. And we should be good. We should be ready to go. Uh, I can't think of any reason why we wouldn't be able to start accepting flights. Um, open stand, commercial, yes. Over here, open stand, commercial. Same thing here, open. Set this to commercial. And we should be good. Uh, now we can start hiring. Uh, we can start hiring and we're also going to start firing. This side over here is done. This side over here is almost done. Should be done very, very soon. Last little bit right there to get finished. And now, unfortunately, guys, I think it is time for you guys to get fired. Um, taxiway node put this sucker up here. You know I want to delete that one. Um, and then we're just going to extend this up here and I think we need to do something like that. And then we're going to do one of these bad boys too. Um, holding point. Bam. Looks good there. Taxiway node over here. Uh, we're going to delete that one. And then let's expand this up here, and then again, something like that. And then where do we do this other one? We did that right here. Bam, beautiful, beautiful. Worked out lovely, absolutely lovely. Uh, let's go ahead, we're going to open the runway. 
Uh, we're not going to do any more upgrades. This is going to be for both. We're going to cancel general aviation, so we're only going to accept commercial. Uh, but it's going to be for both arrival and departure. And I think we're ready to start accepting some contracts after uh, we hire some staff. So let's go to applicants. We're going to do airport staff. We're going to need to hire, we're just going to hire all these guys. Uh, security, again, we're going to hire all these guys. Um, janitor, yeah, we're going to need to hire a bunch. Service technician, not quite sure what the service technicians do. I think they're the ones, do they, are they the ones that like do uh, maintenance on the airplanes? Let me know, guys. Uh, what do service uh, technicians do? Uh, ramp agent got that. Franchise staff, we don't need, we don't need any of this other stuff. But we do need one last thing before we even open up our airport. We need to get an air traffic uh, control tower. Now, we're going to put that sucker... You know what, and I understand that it might be like an unrealistic place, or, or, uh, or even, you know what, no, we're going to put it over here. Um, items, structures, small air traffic control tower, I think we're going to put this sucker over here somewhere. And then after that gets uh, built, we're going to, uh, we're going to fire a lot of those workers. I just want these guys to come over here. Just one guy? Is it just going to be one guy? A lot of people just standing around not doing much. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to open up the airport. Overview, airport is open. Open up all security. Ramp, agent servicing. The free fueling is all good. We're not going to accept any GA flights. We are good to go, I think. Pretty sure we're, we're good to go. Uh, where is the airport staff? Airport staff right there. Why are you guys not going in? The airport is open. People should be coming in after we accept some contracts. Um, let us do flight contracts. Why do we not have them? Uh, they fixed the plane. Okay, cool. Service technicians roam the airport and repair anything that breaks down as long as an item is... Uh, uh, as larger structures must be repaired by contractors. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here's some medium, uh, 14 medium class flights requiring a medium stand, which we have four, and two check-in desks each. Okay, we're good. We can definitely accept this one. So we'll accept that one. Uh, and that is the first airline contract that we actually have. So let's go ahead and let's start scheduling these suckers. We're going to pause the game. Uh, Nas, which is funny because it's, uh, oh no, that was NWA. Never mind, I take that back. So let's go ahead, we're going to put one in there. Confirm, and we do want to kind of like offset these, right? Just a little bit. Bam, bam, bam. Doing good, looking good, feeling good. Bam. We'll be able to knock this out in like two days, maybe three tops. Yeah, we're looking good, we're looking good. Can we fit one more each? This is going to be tight. We're not going to be able to do all of them, but we are going to get most of these out. Um, and I'm probably being a little... Probably doing a little bit more than I should do. Um, because this is going to put a huge strain on our employees and on our airport. Uh, our restrooms, all that stuff. So we've got all that. All those guys are scheduled for today. Um, all of our airport staff is just kind of hanging out over here. I'm not sure why they're not going in. Anybody know why they're not going in? Thanks, Mr. Gamer. Mm, hire Mr. T. What? Um, okay. Security is over here, which we have... For some reason, we have three over here, and we have two over here. Um, let's go ahead and play the game. Um, we definitely need to hire more security, without a doubt. These guys are just like hanging out over here. Okay, let's go ahead and fire a lot of those uh, construction guys. So we are going to dismiss all. And then let's just keep, I don't know, maybe five of them around. So those guys are going to get fired. I need you guys to go home. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Come on. See you later. 
Okay, here come some passengers, or maybe they're employees. Yeah, you're passengers. Are you finally going to go do your job? It looks like you are. Good, good, good. We need to hire a lot more employees, though. Uh, applicants, ramp agents. I want to hire airport staff. Bam, bam, bam. And then we also need to hire security. Good, good, good. Those guys should come in on the bus. I want to drop them off. Workers, I need you guys to come over here and work. Why are you guys not freaking filling out the security? I mean, you guys... What are you guys doing? Are you guys not able to check in for some reason? Why are they not able to check in? We're going to up how many staff we can have at each one of these two. Uh, we're going to say that we can have two. Uh, is, it, is it because none of the security works? Because we don't have um, four at any of them? That might be the case. Um, let's go ahead and hire all these security over there. Hopefully, come on guys. It, or is it not open? No, it's open. It's active. There we go. Alright, cool. So they can check in now because we do actually have one, two, three of them that are fully, uh, fully operational. Hopefully we have one more security guard coming in. Uh, doesn't look like we do though. Let's go ahead and hire one more security guard. And now, we should, uh, no planes here yet. But we should be good to go. That one security guard is going to come over here and is going to uh, open up this one. Hopefully. Some of you guys dissipate. Come over here. No? Don't want to? Man, this is a giant freaking airport. Giant, giant airport. What's the problem here? What's this little logo here for? I think you're mistaken. I don't even think anybody really needs to come over here. Are you coming over here? Okay. So see, that's working just fine. That is working just fine. Now, I'm sure a lot of these guys are complaining. We're finally making money, though. Look at that. 5000 bucks so far this hour. Um... Be boarding there were 94 people on that plane and we're boarding 121 holy smokes okay it's gonna be interesting um, we need the airport staff to come in here though and start processing our passengers and yeah I know we need to get a queue uh, we will do that and that little logo there not the logo but the little icon saying that there's something wrong there the taxiway is not connected it, it is the plane just landed there just fine. Look at that. All four planes are in here at the same time. Holy smokes. Uh, we definitely need to hire more uh, airport staff. I mean, although they should be walking to the gates to actually start processing some of these guys. You know, we obviously have to put down some toilets over here on this side, too. People are just chilling in the bathroom. <laughs> Why are you guys just hanging out in the bathroom? Alright. There's a lot that we need to do. Make the light disabled just for a uh, commercial? No, no, we have that. No seats, no customers. It's needing baggage connections. No, this isn't baggage connection. This means... Look, I'll show you guys. I think, I think I'm right. See this little logo here? That's the same logo that's over here on the taxiway node, which... It's connected. So, uh, not quite sure what the issue is there but it should be fine it should be fine maybe if we disconnect it and then reconnect it or something uh, let's demolish it and then we will reinstall it one of our five workers should come over here and do this there we go and then she, we should be good. That should not be showing. I'm pretty uh, pretty positive about that. Uh, now, let's see. If we click over here, how many have we boarded? 118, 19, 120. Okay, everybody's on there. So now that flight should be leaving here pretty soon. Um, the flight leaves at 1215. It is 1207. 1208, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And it should be departing now. It is parked boarding is closed uh, 
delay flight by one hour? Yes, let's delay it and then let's figure out what the heck the problem is over here. And it's for both of these. Interesting. Um, not quite sure. What's the problem? You need to extend it to the wall of the terminal so it can push back. No, it won't let me extend it to the wall of the terminal. Um, hmm, interesting. I'll show you. Taxiway node. See, like, see how it shows uh, red? We can't, we can't do that. And I'm thinking it might have something to do with the um, holding points. I don't know. Reset pushback point. Let's try that. Although I don't think that's the problem either. Uh, we're gonna reset it to over here. Yes, we're gonna delay. Did that fix it? No. Hmm. Okay, what if we did this? Next time it asks me, we are gonna say no. We are not gonna uh, delay it another hour. Uh, no, we're not delaying. So see, it, it's gonna leave just fine. It leaves perfectly fine, which is interesting. No. Are we still gonna get the cash for it? We should. Even though it's gonna be delayed a little bit, we should still get the cash for it. I'm really not sure why, see? Hmm. I don't know. We need to get more ramp agents if that doesn't restart the game. No, I don't think that's the issue. Uh, hit the bell at the top. Hit the bell at the top. Repair it. Probably a bug. Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably a bug. But, um, you know what? Oh, well. We are making, uh, I think we're making money, right? Because we have 430,000. I think we were down to like 300,000 at one point. Um, we are processing, guys, pretty quick. Why? We need to hire more. Okay. Definitely an issue going on here. Like, why is everybody using just one or two? Oh, there we go. Some more airport staff. Let's go ahead. Let's hire some more staff, too. Um, security. Yeah, let's hire a few more. One, two, three, four. Um, let's hire some more airport staff. And, uh, I think we're good. You know what? Ramp agent's fine. I'll hire four more. That should definitely be more than enough. Franchise staff, we don't need any of that right now at the second. Oh, uh, I think we're good. We should be good. Uh, no, we don't want to delay it. We don't want to delay that one. Is another one doing it now? You know what? Let's try this. Um, taxiway node. We'll build one right there, and we'll also build one right there, and hopefully that fixes it. Nope, doesn't look like it did. Hmm. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know, guys. Uh, hit the bell, it is yellow. I don't see any yellow bell up here. Up there. Bam. Uh, season change, golden opportunity, view... See, it doesn't tell me anything. Doesn't tell me anything. Um, I'll open operations notifications. An employee can't reach its work possession. Make sure that the possession is accessible through walls and via zone areas. Um, hmm. Person can find a reachable security checkpoint. Interesting. Let's clear that. And then they write back, they came up. An employee can't reach its work position. Um, okay. So, I'm thinking we probably need, like, a door or something. Um, no, no, no. Which, if they can reach... If they can reach here, why can't they reach there? That is the question. You know what? All these gates usually have a door anyway, so let's go ahead and put down a door. Now we don't have any kind of like uh, employee door or anything, so we're just going to put a small door right here, and then hopefully that will allow, maybe maybe that'll fix it? That'll allow an employee to walk over there, but then see like that employee's already walking over there. Now why didn't you finish building that? Maybe you just destroyed it, but you didn't build it. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
I really don't. We've got these ramp agents over here too. Are you guys not able to do your job or something? I mean, you can process employees and passengers. I want to make sure, do we have the secure area all, all ready to go? Yeah, the secure area is good. Let's make that a secure area right there. Huh, really not understanding what the problem is. I'm guessing service vehicles can't cross taxiway. No, they can definitely cross. Without a doubt, they can cross. Uh, so the road isn't connected. Roads are all connected. Repair the gate. Let's try that. Uh, th even though that's not going to be an issue, I don't think. Um, repaired, blah, blah, blah. But I'm pretty sure that's going to come right back when the, uh, the actual planes come in. Which, you know, I don't think we have any planes scheduled to come in. Um, NAS, blah, blah, blah. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Confirm. Confirm. And let's go ahead and we're going to do another contract. Contract, Airlines, Medium, Maple, 14, sign, and let's go ahead and sign another one. Uh, let's do Skylink, 14 more, and we'll go to flight, and let's start putting these suckers down. Uh, sure. No, no, no. I want to put you right there. Uh, this will be the Maple Gate. Oh, uh, man. You know what? No, we don't have to do that. No available check-in desks found. What? Oh, it's because it's a... Uh, we should pause the game. Okay, I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to pause real quick. Uh, because I don't want this to, you know, continually kind of mess with us. So we'll do something like that. Unfortunately, uh, we have to do something like that. Confirm there. Do another flight. We can fit that sucker in there. And then we should be good to do something there. Bam. Looking good. We'll just do Maple today. And then we will do some of the other flights tomorrow. And then we have to... We really have to get bathrooms in, too. Um, we have to get bathrooms in for these guys because uh, we only have the one set of bathrooms down here. So I think I want to do that over here. Um, let's do a Foundation over here. We'll do something like that. And then we'll have the bathrooms be in here. And those are just going to be giant bathrooms for everybody in the airport. We're not going to do like a set of bathrooms over here and a set of bathrooms over here. Staff room. Yeah, we definitely need a staff room too. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Um, um, we'll do a pretty giant staff room since we have so many staff. And then I don't know what this will be. Maybe we'll do some offices over there. And then obviously we have to have a door. Uh, we'll do a door there. We'll just do a medium door since this is staff. See, then maybe that's like pathway or something, right? Because obviously you don't need a taxiway node over here. So I'm thinking that just means pathway. Which, you know what? Maybe you guys were right. Maybe that was an issue. Maybe you just needed an upgraded or something. I don't know. Flights should be coming in pretty soon, though. Uh, going lurker mode. I know the problem with the ramp agents. You need to build a sidewalk from an unsecure area to part of the service road. From an unsecure area to the... Okay. Like right here? Are you saying we need to build a sidewalk from here? What? No, because we have a service road right here. They can go through this door and go on the service road. And that's, you know what? That might have been what it was. Um, we will see, though. Click the cogs next to the date and time to check the problems. Uh, bro, you should tighten the security. Let me tighten the security. Security seems pretty good. I mean, the only thing that I guess we could tighten is we could have, um, like a wall over here. In between the two, the two security checkpoints on each side, but other than that, I think we're pretty good. Crosswalks are needed for employees to cross roads. You know what? You're right about that. Um. Okay, let's try this. 
we will do... <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the case, but you know what, I'm going to try it out. Uh, we're going to do a sidewalk over here. We're going to do a sidewalk over here. I don't think this is... Oh man, my mouse is messing up. Damn. Okay, so we got the sidewalk right there. And then let's go ahead and we're going to put a crosswalk right here. And hopefully that fixes that. Then we should probably hire some more uh, employees, right? See, but now look. We, we have flights coming in here. And the problem does not show back up. So that's a little interesting there as to why that happened. Not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and hire some more workers too. We are at 582000 so we're clearly making decent money. Um, let's go ahead, let's deploy, I don't know, 15. 15 contractors. Unsecure area. Another Archie from an unsecure area. Uh, delayed one hour. What's the issue with this one? Yes, we're going to delay that one an hour because I don't see any issue right here. Uh, now, obviously, we have to delete this wall. Uh, no, we don't have to delete the wall. We just have to put a um, we just have to put a door over here for the restrooms. So we'll do something like that. We will do the uh, medium doors. We'll do one here. We'll do one here. We'll do the same thing over on this side, and that should be good. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, delay? Yes, we're in delay. What's the issue? Who is delayed? Let's see, this flight here should have left uh, at 1445, so that one is good. This flight here should leave 1439, so that is fine. What about you? 1400, okay, so you're being delayed right now. Why? Uh, MP937 is being delayed. MP937, which is this one. Uh, boarding is closed. Oh, there's no fuel. Uh, fuel level is only at 37, and they do need refueling. Um, so why do we not have fuel or something? We're at 100%. Our fuel trucks are all the way up. Why are we not able to get fueling in here? Hmm. This guy needs refueling and it doesn't have one and it wants to leave at 1439. Is it going to be able to? Uh, 179, yes, we want to delay. Um, hold on. MP. Why do we not have. Why are our fuel trucks not delivering fuel? We don't have the wrong fuel depot. What? And I even. I even checked that. What, the, you guys can go back and check. When I built this. I built the right one, because we don't even have the option for the other one. Okay, hold on. God damn it. Okay, look, why is this... Okay, this is full, right? Main tank is full, 100%. We don't even have a pus... Whatever. 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 We'll keep it. We'll keep it. But, I'm maintaining that. Um, so, let's see. Fuel Depot. Jet A1. Let's go ahead and build this sucker over here. And then we're going to give it a fuel tank. Too far from fuel depot. It's right freaking there. No, I don't want to build it right there. I want to build it for this one, man. Oh, okay. You know what? Hold on. Yes, we're going to delay. And fuel tank. We need to do the Jet A1. And bam. Alright. Need you guys to come over here and knock this out. That's like our number one priority right now. Yes, we're going to delay all these flights until we can get it the fuel that, uh, that it deserves. And then also I want to do... Um, economy, procurement, we want to do one more fuel truck. But see, that's the weird thing. Why did all those other flights leave perfectly fine? All those other flights, which we've had probably like 14 flights come in and out. I'm sure some of those uh, needed uh, the Jet A1 fuel refueling, and they got it. So, yeah. No, I do have A1. And I maintain that, uh, you know, I did that correctly. Anyways, 
Anyways, whatever. Let's go ahead and hire a few more of those contractors. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's just bring them all in. Um, operations, deploy all. We want to get this stuff knocked out. It's costing us money. We still have 560,000 bucks. Look at how many people are just like hanging out in the restroom over here. That's crazy. Not sure why. But whatever. We are going to build these guys a new restroom. We've got uh, good security going here. Uh, we want to build a staff room. Which, let's go ahead and demolish this wall. I don't know why that's there. Uh, we're going to build a staff room right there. Yes, we're going to delay, 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 delay. Everything is going to get delayed. Until this basic fuel depot gets built. They deliver us some fuel. And then the fuel trucks can go do that. Knock that out. Oh, man. Make the walkway a secure area. What walkway? The, um... This one over here? Uh, road next to station. The truck can't go on dirt roads, man. Road next to station. What station? The checkpoint? Dirt roads. We're going to delay everything. Okay, so we've got this. Uh, fuel is getting delivered right now. Beautiful. And our fuel trucks are going to go, hopefully... Why are they going all the way down there? Okay, so our fuel trucks are coming over here, getting the Jet A1 fuel, and then they're going to be able to refuel uh, the planes. So yeah, knocking that out. Yes, we're going to delay, delay, delay. Did you refuel? Wow. It looks to me like they came all the way down here and then they went just right back into their little vehicle depot. Let's see what he does. See, like, why are they? Why are you guys going into the depot? We need you to refuel these freaking. All right, you know what? We're just not gonna delay. It. No, no. No delay for you guys. Get out of here. Tomorrow's another day. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, you guys actually get refueled. Confirm. 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 And confirm. And let's do the uh, Skylink. Start knocking them out. You know what, let's start putting a little bit more of a gap in between some of these flights. I don't feel like there's such a need to, like, you know, put them so close together. Fence out the runways and such, starting from the checkpoint. Good. That's good enough for today. Wow. Oh, these are still some of those other planes that we had uh, that didn't that weren't able to come in because of uh, all the delays that we did. Uh, do you wish to delay? Yes. Need the fuel trucks to come in here. You know what? We kind of I think we put the vehicle depot in the wrong position. I think we should have probably faced it uh, up. You're coming down. Okay, so you're actually going to refuel. Okay, great. So that's working now. Yes, we're going to delay. 7600 bucks for that flight leaving on time. Uh, we're good with the fuel there. This one is not going to need refueling. This one over here does not need refueling either. And we definitely have to start putting down the... Um, you need to extend the runway. Why do we need to extend the runway? going on here repair oh we need to repair the runway that's what we need to do there we go 1500 bucks for that plane landing there another 1500 bucks for that plane landing beautiful another 1500 bucks yeah we're rolling in the dough uh, you are gonna need refueling so one of the trucks yep trucks are leaving trucks are coming in they're gonna go do their job and then this is gonna be kind of cool we're gonna see 
We're gonna be making a nice chunk of change here. Look at that. Look at all that money we made from the fuel. Excellent, excellent. Wow, you didn't really fill them up all that much, did you? Didn't really fill them up all that much. Let's go ahead and do some cues over here. I'm kind of tired of watching them standing around like this. And we definitely need some more janitors. Holy smokes. You know what? Real quick, let's check out our uh, our old airport dashboard. The airport, 64.8%. Not really all that good. Passengers, 79.6%. Eh. Airlines, 50. General Aviation, 50. We do have 734 visiting passengers. 59 employees. Not bad, not bad. We definitely need to hire some more janitors. And we do need to get those queues going. But you know what? Before we do all that, I want to set up these bathrooms and the staff room. Um, we're going to do the staff room first. Get them a place to go, kind of relax, hang out, all that good stuff. Um, let's do sofas. Uh, bam. there and we'll kind of do something like, like this and then maybe do some armchairs ah, no, you know what? trash cans yes we're gonna give them a trash can or two office desks for our uh, office employees yeah we should probably do that huh um, well, let's do Let's do like one over here. And then we'll do another one like over here. And then let's build a wall around it, make it like an actual office, like a legit office. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. Bam, looking good. I'll give him a door. Yep, should be good. Because right now all we have is the two people, right? We have the CEO, um, Madeline, no slack, and then we have our um, procurement director too. So those are the only two people that you can really say that we need an office. Uh, so we've got that. That's very basic, but hey, we have that down. And then we're going to go ahead we're going to do these two other restrooms over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and zone those. Um, this is going to be a bathroom. From there to there. This is going to be a bathroom from there to there. And then let's start putting down some of the bathroom stuff. Um, so sinks, we're gonna just line this wall over here with sinks. Um, we'll do something like this. Good there. Do the same thing over here. I kinda wish you could click and drag, you can't. Good, good, good. Um, we will do toilets for the females. Oh, see, and this is going to be able to be a this is going to be a huge, 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 huge restroom. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be able to fit so many people. Oh, so many people in here. Take this sucker. Good, beautiful. I think that's good. Uh, let's put some trash cans in there for you guys. And good, all good. Uh, this is going to be female. And that should be open here pretty soon once all the workers get in there. Which, what are they doing right now? Um, the workers are working on nothing. How many workers do we have? None? Do we not have any workers? Do we get rid of our workers or something? Gate area seats, yes, we know. What's triggering you? You seriously don't know what to do. What are you talking about? Uh, say it with me, everyone. Gate seats, uh, yeah, 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 I'll get to those, I promise. I just want to get these restrooms in here. What happened to all of our workers? Um, all contractors are deployed, 92. It says we have 92 workers, which a lot of them are just hanging out over here. Nobody is really installing this. Um, maybe because it's not a secure area. Bam. 
that should fix the issue. Now all of our workers should get their butts moving and start installing that stuff. Right? No? Am I wrong? Hmm. Secure area. So this is a secure area. That is a secure area. Not quite sure why our workers are not installing that stuff. Goods are not getting delivered. Alright, what's the issue here? Is that car just blocking everything? Wow. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Okay, I think I'm going to have to do a little reload or something. Uh, let's do this. We're going to save. Uh, save. We're going to save. This is the stream. Yes, I know. Save it. And let's reload it. Spawn vehicles, yeah, yeah. Uh, F10, they're waiting for deliveries. The traffic, yep, traffic is crazy. That was kind of interesting. Okay, good, good, good. That's starting to get delivered. Starting to get knocked out. Beautiful. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Good, good, good. Get out. Go home. Thank you. You too. You're not even delivering anything. Get out of here, man. Well, at least that's moving. Traffic is moving. That's good. Um, they should start knocking this out, which, look at that. They did. That was very quick. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and finish out this restroom over here. Uh, sinks we've got down. Toilets. Yeah, we'll do a few toilets. We'll do toilets like so. Yep. Plenty of toilets for you gentlemen. And then we'll have plenty of urinals as well. And we're good there. We'll give them the trash cans. I think we're good. Uh, staff room is fine. Kind of hanging out in these offices. Taking a break at least. And yeah, you know what? We're going to start doing the seating. Gate seating. I know you guys are clamoring for that. Um, should we do it like so? Or should we do it like so? What orientation do you guys think we should do? Oh yeah. Yep, thank you very much. So this is female, right? Yep, female restroom. This is gonna be male restroom. Damn, beautiful. Um, how should we do the seating? Uh, do like so. No, this is not the main series airport. This is just a uh, like a stream version of the airport. Uh, vertically, okay. So you guys want it like this? Cool. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead. Uh, and I kind of wish we had windows or something we can give them. But we're going to go do seating like... You know what, we can back this up. There's no reason to have it that close to the wall. We'll do something like that. And then we'll do something like that. That'll give us plenty of path uh, for people to walk on over here. Going into their... Uh, the other gate up here. Um, hmm. well, let's go ahead and do some more seating over here. And then I do want to kind of decorate this a little bit. Um, and then, of course, we have to put more seating on the other side. I did not forget. But again, we're going to try to make this a little bit... Uh, a little bit... We're on these two squares over here. So that sucker is going to be there. There. Okay. And then, uh, but this is oriented differently, right? So we're going to have to do something like this. Uh, we'll leave that the way that is. We'll put another set of seats over here. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Uh, you are located on the very first one. Not sure that is ideal, though, with how far away it is from the gate. So we're going to kind of adapt and overcome over here. We'll do something like this. And then I do want to give them some nice, more comfortable sofas and stuff, too. 
Um, maybe we'll do like a little lounge area over here. Is that going to be able to fit? Yeah, it's going to be able to fit. So we'll do a sofa there. We'll do a sofa there. And we can do one over here. Nice little lounge area. We can give them one armchair over here. Uh, we'll do the armchair right there, and then we'll do a large plant. Okay, that's going to look nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we'll probably do the same thing on all three sides. If we can fit it. Is it going to fit? Bam. Bam. Yeah, it's going to fit just fine. Just fine. Swing. Large plant. Nope, I put that in the wrong spot. Uh, armchair. Bam. We need to put the armchair over here. How does that look? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. We don't have any flights coming in today, though, do we? All right. Um, we have six more flights left that we can schedule, so I think we're only going to get a few. Might not even get the four in. Uh, time is going to be a little uh, against us. Oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Beautiful. Okay, let's go into the next day and at least schedule these two. How much money do we have? Uh, 682. So we're definitely making a decent amount of money. Uh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Plenty of people are relaxing over here. We have people stuck in the snow uh, in this little wannabe room over here. What should we do in that room? Should we do a uh, like a food place? Keep in mind, you can schedule up to seven days. Yep, yep, yep. It's just a lot of scheduling, you know. I kind of wish there was like an automated way to do that. Uh, stack up on flight contracts. Yes, we could do that. I, I, again, I really wish that there was an automated way that you can just schedule the freaking... Uh, be like, okay, look, we want to hire you guys and schedule your flights however you want to schedule. You know, that way I don't have to manually put down every single flight. Or at least make it to where it's like a renewable contract where... If the guys are pleased with the contracts, then they renew it and it just maintains in the same spot or something. Research de-icing. Is that a thing you can actually research? I don't think I've ever noticed that. Um, procurement. Uh, Anti-spam filter. Trail scanner. Document. Mind reader. Baggage. Shop. This and that. I, where, where's de-icing? Open the bathroom. Bathroom not open? What are you talking about? Open room. Did we not open this one? We opened that one and we didn't open this one, huh? That's interesting. Interesting. But yeah, our customers or our passengers should be pretty happy uh, now that we've put down the uh, the two large, large, large restrooms over here. And because we put down some seating, I'm sure they were clamoring for that big time. Um, now, this plane over here... Um, can board 92. Is going to board 92 people. That doesn't look like 92 people to me. But then, you know what? We also want to raise this. I want to do two people per... Uh, two people per boarding desk. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Two people per. Beautiful. Let's do the same thing over here. All right, Saturday, huh? Do any of you guys watch college football? Uh, I know that's like the biggest thing to do on Saturdays uh, for a lot of people is uh, do the college football. I'll be honest with you, I've never really... I, I love the NFL. I love watching uh, NFL football, but I've never really gotten into the actual whole like college football thing. Like, I get it. The games are exciting. You know, a lot of like 50 to 60 uh, scores, stuff like that. But just never really got into them. I don't know why. Uh, yes, we are going to do the shops, and for the shops, we need, is it CIO? Shop is the strategy director, food franchise is also the strategy director. Uh, let's go ahead and hire one of those. For the board, strategy director, bam, applicants. Strategy director. 
should be getting an application here pretty soon, hopefully. You love college football. Who? Did you see the Packers beat the Bears? Absolutely, I did. You know what the cool thing is? I actually went to uh, week one, Seahawks at Packers. I went to that game. It was uh, uh, not the most exciting game, but it was really cool to go see. Uh, it was really cool to go to Lambeau. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a huge Seahawks fan. Like I said, I grew up in Seattle, so I'm a huge Seahawks fan. Unfortunately, the Seahawks lost that day, but it was still a pretty cool experience. Madeline, you know what? I'm going to fire you from being the CEO. You don't start with me, Madeline. <laughs> go back, go, my butt. Uh oh. Go, Cowboys. No, Cowboys. Come on. They're. No. No. Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah, that's cool. Hockey's a lot of fun. Hockey's a lot of fun to go to. Without a doubt. Um, why do we not have any applicants? Uh oh. Got the little bug there. Oh, boy. Yeah, definitely a, definitely a few bugs here uh, with Airport CEO. But you know what? It's all getting addressed. Uh, I want to say they put out like two or three patches every single day. So that's that's pretty cool that they uh, that they do all that. Um, you know what? We are losing a lot of money with how many workers we have. And I don't see us doing any like major expansions anytime soon. So I think... I think we are going to... Let's do some repairs here. I think we're going to fire a lot of those guys. Let's do some repairs just so we don't have to mess with it in the future. How's our runway looking? We're at 28%. Okay, we're going to repair that. Going to repair that sucker. We don't have to repair any of these, right? Security checkpoints? No, no, no. Alright, I think I do want to do the shops. However, for some reason, we cannot hire a strategy director right now. Um, I'm thinking we're going to have to restart again. Try clicking the black area. What black area? Uh, Orange apple, what black area? strategy cancel application let's cancel the application and then let's open it back up maybe that'll kind of fix it nope shifts we're on six hour shifts we're good there one of the buttons yeah it's just not working I think we're gonna have to restart this did you open the job I did open the job let me prove it to you Board, strategy director, see it says cancel application, it's because we've already opened it. Uh, we can do open for applications here, and it is open, and yeah, applicants, and the, the problem is, you can tell it's like a bug right now, because this isn't changing, it's not allowing me to filter it by anything, so I think we are going to have to reload the game real quick, um, plus, yeah, we don't even have any flights coming in. Um, yeah, let's reload this game real quick, and we're gonna do, um, we'll do that, and then we will get, yes, we're gonna overwrite, and let's go ahead and load, bam, 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 and we should be good now. Uh, click the area below, check back later, that worked for the other streamers, uh, well, too late now. Uh, what's your favorite college football teams? Mine's the Sooners. You know what? Even though I'm not a huge college football team, I'm a fan of the University of Washington. Um, they play, I think they're ranked number six right now. Um, they're number six, and they play Oregon State today at 7 o'clock. They should whoop their butts. Uh, the Sooners, though, they're pretty good, right? I want to say the Sooners are pretty good. Um, applicants, let's go over here. Strategy director, we'll hire you. We'll hire the COO as well. And we have a procurement director. We do need to hire a few more janitors. Um, hire you, hire you. And that should be good. Because uh, I think our airport is pretty dirty, no? Oh, it's actually got cleaned up pretty well. But anyways, we'll have a few extra janitors. No big deal. Um, so now that we have the strategy director, we can start doing some of the procurement for it, right? So I want to do... 
Um, I want to do the shop upgrades and the food franchises. I think we're going to do food franchises first, and then we'll mess the shop upgrades. And I think, see how fast this is going? 5 hours 39. It's ticking down pretty quick. What if we do the shop upgrade too? No, I thought it was going to slow it down. It didn't. Beautiful. So we'll do both of those. Baggage handling service, we can research that too since we have the COO now. And then the COO can't really do anything else. So that's that. So in a few hours we'll be able to start putting down some shops or whatnot. Now what should we put in this room over here? More flights please. Yes, yes, yes. You're absolutely right. Um, contracts, more flights. Bam. Sign. Uh, let's go ahead and do another one. We'll do swiftly. We'll sign that contract. And you know what? Let's do one more. Stripe Air. No, you don't want Stripe Air. I don't like the way they look. Um, we will do s Maple. We'll do Maple. Bam. Okay, now we should have plenty of flights to schedule for the next few days. Um, let's go ahead in here and schedule some more last second. Can we do it? No. Okay. We'll just have to go to Thursday. So we'll do Maple. And I really wish... I wish it would let you select from all of them. Um, because I'd like to be able to be like, look, this gate is the Maple Gate. This gate is Nas. You know what I'm saying? So we'll do something like this. And then we will come out here and we'll do swiftly over here. And then we can kind of do... You know what? I think we'll be fine. We can kind of do something like this. Confirm. Mm, we won't be able to squeeze another one in there. Unless we did maybe something like that. But you know what? That's... that's no, we're not going to do that. So we've got swiftly. Let's go ahead and do another one over here for swiftly. And then we'll do maple. We'll kind of put maple over here. Bam. Another maple over there. And then let's try to squeeze in one more. Oh, that sucks. We just, just messed that up. Okay, that's fine. It'll work. We'll put a maple over here, though. And then Nas. So we can go ahead and fill out the rest of our schedule with Nas. Confirm. And then we'll do something like that. And then... Uh, put that sucker right there. And let's try to squeeze one in. Yes, beautiful. Bam. How many flights is that? Three, six, nine... Thirteen flights. Not bad. Thirteen flights is not bad. And then Nas will put over here. Bam. Squeeze those suckers in there. We'll give Nas another flight over here. Do something like that. And then Maple. Have plenty that need to be filled. We'll do something like this. And this is kind of seed like time consuming, not really all that exciting. I really wish that there was a way we could uh, automate this process. Really do, really, really, really do. Uh, are we going to be able to squeeze another one in there? No, none of these spots. And I really wish we could do kind of like what Sim Airport does where you can actually lower um, where you can like lower the time that they spend at the gate you know what I'm saying um, oh well oh well confirm bam good uh, we are set for a while you know what let's just go ahead and let's fill out let's fill out Saturday confirm confirm Yes, yes, yes. And we'll try to finish out the rest of these contracts uh, for today. I think we'll probably be able to. I know I'm not spacing them out like I was before, but I'm just trying to squeeze all these guys in today. I don't think we'll be able to, though. Let's go back. Five more flights. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to fit those in. Bam. 
Bam. And there it is. Bam. Good. All right, so two more. Let's just go ahead and stick those here on Sunday. Bam. Okay, we're looking good. We're going to have flights for the next, what, two or three days? And we should be good. Um, I want to do those freaking uh, shops. Shops and the stores or whatever. American is surprisingly the largest airline in the world. And I'm not surprised by that. Uh, hey, Nose, what's up, Imperial? should be coming in here tomorrow right yeah we don't have anybody coming in today how are we looking on those uh, procurements uh, baggage is still 16 hours away and then we have the shop upgrade two hours 20 minutes and food franchise one hour 40 so that'll that'll get done here soon where are we gonna put the food franchise though um, and I'm thinking we should probably expand our area for letting these guys get out so I'm thinking maybe we'll delete this and then I think we might be able to squeeze in another security gate over here one of these suckers over here we might be able to that might just be like one tile too small but we're gonna give it a shot and if it is maybe we can like move this one over one spot or something um, but then I think we're gonna do like the exits over I think we'll do the exits over here to where all four of these uh, gates are going to have to come up this way and then this will be like the baggage area which you guys are probably going to have to walk me through that baggage area because it's a little I don't know I tried it one time and it, it didn't really work anyway where are we going to put our shop um, if we're going to do the baggage area over here I don't see why we can't do a shop over here we could even do a shop like over here a service like this half um, Uh, that sound, I think, is like rain. Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of weird. Uh, no slack. Am I living in Washington? No, I'm living in... Uh, I'm living right near Chicago. I'm not, like, in the city or anything, but I'm living right near Chicago. <laughs> what is that devil sound? I live in Edmonton. Nice. Uh, someone counting cash? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's rain, guys. That's rain. Definitely sounds like hail, yep. Um, let's see. So where? You guys aren't helping me answer my questions, man. Where are we going to put this shop? I don't want to put it down here. That wouldn't make sense. I want to put it somewhere in the actual terminal. Where? Should we just put it over here? Mm. Okay, I think we're gonna maybe put one on each side. Maybe we'll put like a shop on one side and an actual food franchise on another. So we're gonna have to designate that as a shop. Um, we'll do that over here. Room is too small. No, it's not. So we'll do the shop over here. And then let's see, uh, sign a contract. Can we do one of these? Yeah, shop shelves, 14, and a cashier desk. Uh, traveler shop. Um, it's definitely large enough. Shop shelves and a cashier desk. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Um, items. Shop shelf. We will do a few of each, I think. Let's do large back here. And then we could do maybe some medium in the center. Okay. We'll do these. Maybe along this wall over here. That might look a little weird. Let's go ahead and actually fast forward so we can see what things look like. Uh, hmm, maybe they should have been placed in the middle, huh? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Let's see what these look like over here. It looks weird to me, I don't know. Uh, let's see, sign a contract. How many do we have then? We have 9 of 14. Okay. So let's try to do some smaller ones. Well, you know what? No, let's do um, we'll do a few more medium. We can kind of maybe do these right here. And then we'll do some small ones over here. 
Checkout powers. Um, which we need shop cashier, right? My uh, cashier's desk. Yes. Shop cashier. Let's do two. We'll do one. I want to make sure this is facing the right way, too. We'll do one over here, and then let's do one over. Over here. We should be good. That should then allow us to sign the contract and get some people in here buying some of this uh, some of this junk. Are those couches? No, no, no. They kind of look like couches, though, don't they? Now we can change the color of them, but no, they're not couches. They're they're weird like shelves. Anyways, we can do this contract then. Um, paper plane. Can we do that one? Shop shelves six. Okay, you know what? Let's do. Let's try paper plane. Um, we're gonna need to put down two more shelves to do that though. So we'll just do small shelves. Um, we'll do one more over, one more over here, and then we can do another one. We can do another one like right by the uh, cashier, and then we'll be able to sign the bigger one. And then it's going to be important too with us doing this bigger contract. I think we're going to have to sell more junk. We're going to have to bring in more customers. I think. But for the most part, our airport is flowing pretty smoothly, right? Like, security doesn't have a huge backlog. Um, for some reason, people just like hanging out in these restrooms over here. Maybe it's because we need, a, like, a seating area out here. We'll try to do that. We'll do this after we set up this shop. We'll give them, like, a little seating area. Um, okay, so this is done. Let's sign the contract. Uh, we can do, like, again, paper plane. Everything is good. Rent per hour, 6700 bucks. Or, yeah, essentially 6700 bucks. Uh, sale for bonus, 62 uh, We get a 19% cut, and we get $25 per something. So, contract is not completed. But, as we can see, some of this junk is being delivered to the shelves. People are working the counters. That looks really weird. Like, why? What's going on here? What does that say? We got newspapers. We looks like we have magazines or something, but yeah, it just it, it doesn't look right. There's definitely like some stuff missing. Are those supposed to be? Yeah, those are newspapers. Uh, maybe these are all just like stock, uh, like placeholder things, right? Okay, somebody just bought something. Uh, let's check. We have four sales so far. We need to get the 6,200. I don't think we're gonna do that. Um, but we are getting paid rent. And look at that. We're making 11. Thirteen thousand, thirteen thousand dollars an hour. So this three hundred eighty-five thousand that we have here, that should go up big time. Now I do want to give these guys. Oh, see, and it's lagging. It's definitely lagging. Well, we do have a lot of people here, and we definitely need more, um, more janitors. You know, I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these contractors too. Uh, operations, um, staff, budget. No, where, where do we need to go? Operations, construction, here we go. We're going to dismiss all, and then again, we're just going to bring in like five contractors. And then we're going to do the um, do the seating area out here for these guys. So they're going to have a nice little seating area over here. We will give them the sofas. Uh, let's do sofa. Sofa. Pause that thought. Delete these three. Trying to make it look nice and pretty. Okay, so that's uh, three away. That's going to be three away. Then we can do like two and two. Yeah, so that's going to look fun right there. We'll do some seating over here, opposite, like that. Let's do the sofas facing the opposite way over here as well. And then maybe do some armchairs in the center. Let's do there, 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 there. 
and then give them some plants. Good there, and then we want to do some maybe trash cans. Uh, let's do trash cans like on the sides over here. And I think that's gonna look pretty dang good. Let's hire a few more. I keep doing this. Um, we're just gonna hire a few more contractors. Nothing crazy because those five are doing a pretty good job of uh, delivering all this stuff. Um, nobody's hanging out in the bathrooms anymore, so that's good. We're looking good there. Should we do another seating area over here? Uh, you know what? We're going to see if... Um, we are going to see if... Can we fast forward to? I know there's an option to fast forward. Uh, operations. Let's see. It's in the dashboard, maybe? No. Operations. No. Overview. Fast forward to the next day. Yes, I want to do that. Fast forward to 0400. Oh, man. What to do? What to do? I don't know how long we're going to do this live stream for. I mean, it's been going on for two hours now. Um, not quite sure. 204 people are watching, though. So, hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it a lot. Really, really do. Yeah, baggage system. That's still something that we need to do. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure how the baggage system works. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, thanks, Madeline. Even even though you're a Packers fan, <sighs> man, it's so disappointing. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I really like the Packers. You know what? If the uh, if the Seahawks don't win the Super Bowl, which honestly, kind of right now, it's not looking like they will. I, I hope the Packers win, as long as it's not the Patriots. Uh, okay, Orange Apple, you get how to do basic baggage. Cool, so you can walk me through it. No step. I'm, I'm not slacking. What are you talking about, man? What's up, BKL from Kosovo? Nice. Too tall. What's up? Too tall. Twenty one. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, Madeline. Go Falcons. You know what? I like the Falcons. They're exciting. They're an exciting team to watch. Uh, just not happy that they beat us last year, but whatever. Uh, Alright, you know what, let's go for a baggage system. So, what I think we're going to do, we're going to build a foundation over here. We're going to try to get this baggage system working. Uh, you know what, since you're familiar with how the baggage system works, what's the, where, where's the best place to put the, um, where's the best place to put the baggage area? What's up, let's go Cavs. Go Chiefs, you know what, Chiefs are fine. Chiefs are pretty fun. You got Tyreek Hill and uh, what's the new kid, man? I forgot his name. Hunt. Kareem Hunt. He's freaking exciting, right? Saints are cool, too. How can you not like Drew Brees? The Steelers, I have Antonio Brown on my fantasy team, so yeah. Definitely like watching the Steelers. Bell's pretty good. He's pretty good, I guess. Okay, let's see. The baggage bay. Big item. Takes a lot of space and needs a road connection. All right, does it, should that be, is, is the baggage bay where they actually go pick up their baggage? Or is that something the ramp agents do? Orange Apple. Is that like, do you want to put that somewhere where passengers are going to be? Or is that going to be somewhere uh, only for employees? Yeah, Felix, the Blackhawks are pretty cool. I'm not a huge hockey fan, but uh, obviously living near Chicago, you know, that's the team I watch the most. Uh, let's see, down the line, you'll probably need multiple of them. A good rule of thumb is one bay for two to three gates. Uh, bay is where agents take bags to and from plane. Okay, so I'm guessing the bay shouldn't be uh, where passengers go. No slack fan. <laughs> What's up? Nice, nice name. I don't like you. E I don't like you, e Blackhawks. Okay, well, sorry. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I have Big Ben on my. Uh, he's one of my quarterbacks too. Uh, but it needs to be indoors. Okay, so I'm thinking, is this going to be a good place over here, Orange? If we put the baggage bay over here. Um, 
should be good. Okay, the road connection goes through a large door that you place on one of the walls. Alright, so what if I build... What if I turn this into the baggage bay? Is that going to work? Should work. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm okay with making it too big. Um, let's go ahead and build that sucker. And then I know the baggage bay. I know it's large because I've already placed it one other time. Um, where exactly is it? Here we go. Baggage bay. Oh, yeah, that's much larger than I thought. No, that's, that's too big. We don't need to do all that. Okay, um, let's do a smaller version of that. <laughs> that, was, that was a little larger than I thought. Uh, Alright, so foundation, um, let's do, 7x7 seven seven might work. Structure location, not possible. Well, we shouldn't have anything assigned here. Okay, so we should be fine. Um, fast forward, why are we like not able to build over this anymore or something? Structure location, not possible, why the heck not? Okay, there we go. So foundation, um, let's build... Let's try for that. And then the baggage bay is gonna fit in there. Right? Yep, baggage bay is gonna fit in there just fine. Um, okay, probably wanted to make that like one, one size bigger. You know, let's do that. Again, for symmetry, uh, we will do the foundation, and we're going to make that right there. Yeah, definitely experiencing a little bit of lag now. Uh, don't place it there. Well, it's too late. No slag, do you like baseball? Heck yeah, I like baseball. That was my favorite sport growing up. Uh, good night. Kala? Chala? Kala? Sorry. Uh... Come on, guys, start knocking this foundation out. Yankees, oh my god, really? The Yankees? I hate the Yankees. Come on. What's up, Fitzy? Alright, we're definitely lagging a little bit here. We do have a lot going on. Look, a lot of freaking passengers are coming through here. Um, yeah, definitely experiencing some lag. How's our shop doing? We have sold 97 things. 97 sales. They do want us to, uh, to sell 6,200. That's not going to happen. And then you can see there the total revenue is 160,000 uh, bucks. You made 160,000 dollars by selling 104 things. That doesn't really make too much sense. Or maybe that's our revenue, but regardless. 160,000 bucks. That's crazy. I mean, look at that. We have 624. So we've we've made like $300,000 um, since we put that shop in there. That doesn't sound right at all. Uh, flights. Still plenty of flights coming in. Let's go ahead. Let's bring in some more workers. I keep doing that. Um, construction. Let's deploy, I don't know, 15 more. All right, let's see. Uh, you will need sidewalk connections and space on both sides of the road. So that's going to work well, right? That should be good. Um, let's go ahead and build the sidewalks then. Um, sidewalks, we'll do them from here to here. And then what? Uh, you will need sidewalk connections and space on both sides of the road. So is that not good then, building the, the sidewalk right there? Cool with the pirates. I like their uniforms. Andrew McCutcheon's pretty sweet. Sterling Marte, right? Uh, we well just need a crosswalk then. Okay. Mm, bam. Crosswalk. And should be good there then. And then, uh, come on guys, speed it up. Workers are being a little lazy right now. 
Just look at the in-game tutorial. You know what I did, and I I wasn't able to get it to work. Uh, so I think I messed up with the uh, the carousels, the little conveyor belts. I think I messed with messed up with that. Blue Jays. You know what? No, I don't think I like the Blue Jays. You know why? Because I'm a Mariner fan, and every time the Blue Jays go to play in Seattle, um, no slack. You are dumb. It misspelled dumb, just by the way. It is a baggage. You misspelled baggage. Uh, baggage Bay Big. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Uh, baggage Bay has red blocks which need to be connected with service road. A sim airport or airport CEO. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure right now. Uh, no, like there will be one road. Uh, there will be roads on both sides. Direct above and below the bay. Oh, like, so here? Here and here? Why are these guys taking so long to build this? I mean, I know we have uh, much less workers, but... Shoot. I guess they do have a four walk, but... Still don't think it should take this long. All right, let's hire some more workers. Uh, uh, yeah, above and below each bay, there should be a road. Each bay? Oh, I get you, I get you. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the baggage bay in here. What, are we going to do it, uh, like, right here? And then we're going to want to road over it? Is that what you're saying? We're going to want a road going like around this thing? What's up, Jonathan? I'm glad you like it. Uh, one for agent to pick up bags with truck and one to drop off with truck. Okay. Next to the yellow. Uh, there's going to be a road next to the yellow. Okay, cool. Uh, a road touching the yellow. Sounds good. I got it. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, I want to delete this wall over here. Start working on that baggage bay, fellas. And then, so I'm guessing we're going to have to open this up too, right? Do we not do a door? Flip it around, huh? I don't think it really matters, does it? What's up, boss gamer? Uh, I just built what is going to be our baggage area, baggage bay. Thoughts on the Phillies? The Phillies are one of the worst teams in baseball, aren't they? Um, Ryan Howard, man, I remember like 10 years ago, that guy was one of the best players in baseball. Just great, great, great player. But um, he just fell off. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Anyways, structures infrastructure so what we're gonna do a service road do we not do okay I guess we can't do that because we have the sidewalk there um, so let's get rid of the sidewalk uh, bulldozer knock out that sidewalk and then hopefully we'll be able to do the the, the road Guys, knock that out. Demolish it. Okay, so then that should work, right? Uh, no slack. Your thought on misspelled words. <laughs> no comment. Uh, the Penguins. Ah, you know what? I used to like the Penguins growing up. Mario Lemieux, Yaramir Yager. Yager is my favorite hockey player of all time. So, uh, yeah, I like the Penguins. You need to turn the baggage bay around. I don't think I have to. I think it's fine the way it is. Um, now you can't connect the baggage line. Um, let's see. No road on the left side. The left side is where you do the baggage sorting with belts and stuff. Okay, cool. So we will delete this. I thought, don't we need the baggage connection, though? Don't we need the road connection so people can actually come in here? Uh, basically, it's placed backwards. 
at least no road crossing the middle of the left. So like what, right here? Well, what? So are you telling me, should I just flip this around? Should I delete this and flip it around? But, well, it's, you know what, you're saying that it's basically placed backwards. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to assume that yes, I need to uh, flip it. Uh, bulldozer. Bam. Bulldoze. Cool. Alright, let's do this again. My bad, my bad. Okay, so we're going to do it like this. Yay, democracy! <laughs> uh, nice. Okay. Now, I'm guessing... And the road with it. So, which road? This one over here? Bulldoze. Bam. Have I ever been to Fort Irwin? No, I have not been to Fort Irwin. What's up, Aiden? Thanks for watching. I can delete all the road around it? Well, you know what? I, I kind of like the road. I think it looks kind of pretty. So, you know, I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete that. And then uh, I kind of want to turn this into... You know what? I can't. No, I'm going to just leave it the way it is. Um, apart from the left bit. Yeah, yeah. This looks like a more polished, less, less in-depth airport sim. Um, are you talking about sim airport? Because it is, I think it's more in depth. Um, okay, now what? Orange apple, now what? I'm guessing we're gonna need the conveyor belts and all the uh, the other goodies that go with it. Fort Worth, Fort Worth, what? Fort Worth, is that Texas? I'd make the entrance two lanes for the road. Uh, get a belt from your check-in desks. Okay, so we need to go to check-in desks. Oh, see how slow everything is moving? Okay. So we're going to have what? We're going to have the belt going towards the baggage bay, right? And then I'm thinking we'll do overground belts here. Right? So we're going to do overground belts right there. And then I'm thinking we'll do underground belts. Um, so yeah, let's come over here and then we'll do baggage belts. We will do underground now. And we're going to go all the way to the building. So like over here. And then from over here. Up. No. Alright. Hopefully these guys start knocking this out. It looks like, yep, it is going down into the ground. Excellent. So this looks like it's all good here. Make sure that the direction is right. Well, we'll figure that out here really soon. Uh, airport CEO is way more in depth. Yep, I agree. Most like, yes, Fort Worth, Texas. I have not. I lived in Texas for probably, I don't know, three, maybe four years. But no, I never went to Fort Worth. Uh, make sure the direction is right. Yep, looks good. Okay, so we're going underground here. That's excellent. Um, we are getting this built. I think you need more janitors. Um, maybe. I mean, it is looking a little dirty, right? How's our airport looking? Yeah, look, it's pretty freaking dirty right there. What are you, why are you guys not sitting down? Oh, you guys are leaving the airport. That's what it is. Okay, you know what? You guys definitely need more... Oh, man. We need more bus... Um, bus parking or whatever you want to call it. Let's do that real quick. Infrastructure, uh, bus stop. You know what? It seems to me like these really aren't working. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to delete those. Uh, we can move them somewhere else. But I'm going to delete the drop-off sites. And we're going to put more bus stops in there. Because, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Um... Our janitors are coming through here cleaning, though, pretty well. But yeah, that was a huge backlog. And then how are we looking on flights, too? Okay, so we're looking good here. And then Sunday, we only have two flights coming in. Um, so you know what? Let me go real quick. I'm going to schedule a few more contracts. And then uh, by then, that should be finished. Um, Air Strada, let's do that. 
and you know what, that's going to be it for right now. Um, so let's see. Sunday, uh, Air Strata. Bam, bam, bam. Let's put you in here. Fill this day up nice and tight with, uh, with uh, airlines coming in. I really want to get that baggage bay working. I want to see uh, how that works exactly. Because like I said, I, I've played now for maybe seven or eight hours, and I've never gotten a, a working baggage claim area. And I've noticed they don't have the baggage uh, conveyors for, like, picking up luggage, which I'm not 100% sure why, because that's, like, in every airport, you know? Can you squeeze that one in there? No, we can't. That means we won't be able to squeeze it in anywhere over there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll go to Monday, and we'll just plop these in here for Monday. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, so now that should be done. Um, the baggage stuff. Conveyors should be done. Now, how do I want to do this? I use scanners, too. Okay. Uh, baggage belts. We are going to keep going with the underground, right? So now what do we want to do over here? How do we want to connect this? Uh, too bad there isn't an option to assign a stand to a specific airline. Yeah, you're right. They are very useful in security and such. What's the alarm noise? Is everything researched? I... Not everything. Um, let's see. We have unlocked the baggage handling service, but we have not unlocked the conveyor be uh, belt tilt tray or the generic bag scanner. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do that now. It's going to take five hours in game, and we can actually fast forward. Um, so let's do that. Okay, fast forward. Not advanced time is there are passengers in the terminal. Why do we have passengers in the terminal? That's workers. I don't think we have any passengers though. Hmm. Is there somebody hiding? What's wrong with you? Contract not completed. Why is this one here specifically not working? Interesting. Not quite sure why that's like that. How many have they sold? 421,000 in revenue. They've only sold 241 items. Wow. Okay. Alright. So now what? Let's see. Everything bag related. Uh, is everything researched? You seem to be missing scanners. Uh, everything bag related. Yeah, yeah. We're working on that. Getting that researched. Should be done here pretty soon. Still curious as to why it says we have passengers in the terminal. These are all workers. Those are all security. Security. Nobody's down here. Although they are filling out the desks right here, which is excellent. So they're filling out the desks, and we don't have anybody by the boarding desk, which is realistic, right? When you walk through an airport like late at night, you don't see them just hanging out at the boarding desks, anyways. Um, anyway, so we're good there. Get uh, get your underground belt above ground again in the baggage bay building. Cool, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Underground, well it's in, so now we can go ahead and do the overground one. So... Bam, it's above ground. We're gonna need a tilter, okay. Um, where do we want the tilter? Do we want the tilter, like, right over here by where these connections are? Or do we want it just, like, right here? Uh, you need to delete it back a bit to make space for the scanner. Do we have those yet? Yeah, we have those. How big is the scanner? The scanner's right there. Is that good enough? I have seen Anchorman. I love that movie. I love Lamp, right? Uh, let's see. No, right at where the bags come above ground. Uh, no slack. What happened to your some city bids? Bag scanners are unlocked. Uh, you're going to want a fair bit of space. Okay, so look. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, baggage belt. Bag destroyer. What? Conveyor belt cargo destroyer. Used for destroying unwanted cargo such as bags containing malicious content is fully automated. Wow, okay. 
Um, baggage bay, we have bag scanner. So what, we want to do the tilt tray, right? Um, maybe expand to the right a little. What does that mean? Expand to the right a little, like move this over. Um, baggage belts, overground, bam, bam, and... Is that what you want? Add, oh, add more foundation, okay. Info desk structures, there we go, foundation. Should be good, right? You know what? Yeah, that should be good. Do you watch Rick and Morty? No, I don't. I keep hearing all these people talking about Rick and Morty, but I've never seen a single episode. I've seen a few minutes here and there, but yeah, I haven't really haven't really watched an episode. Alright, expanding on that, let's bulldoze this wall. Wall go bye bye. All right, Joshua. Yeah, I remember the name. I remember you. Uh, okay, so get the belt going right and then straight. Okay, so let's get it going right just a little bit more. Um, yeah. Items. Scroll right back down here, baggage belts, overground belt, so we're gonna go, okay, we need to cancel this one too, bam, yeah, okay, this is crazy how, uh, I'm sure it's easy once you get it going, um, we're gonna go right, and then we are gonna go straight, okay, okay should be good, now what, what's up, Joker? Likeable Gaming, what's up? Place the tilter. Alright. Mm, tilt tray. Uh, doesn't matter what direction it faces. I hope not. We're just gonna put just one? Just one little spot? Um, orange apple. Or a orange angle. Are we just doing the one one spot for the tilt tray? Doesn't matter direction. Okay, there I put it down. Just one. <laughs> you guys are arguing in between is it the scanner first or is it the tilter first? Uh, just letting you know, I'm pretty much always here. I just rarely check. Cool. I appreciate it. Uh, just input connected to the belt. Just input connected to the belt. So what, you want the tilt array going to the belt? Is that what you're saying? City Skylines, I don't know when the next episode is going to be. You need the tilter because the destroyer can hold up one belt. You need the tilter. Okay, so... The tilter, are we good with just the one little square, or do we need to do multiple squares of the tilter? What's up, Cole? Just one, okay. One tilter, but get that belt going right and not turning again. Get the belt one tilter. Okay, so do we want to put a tilter down? I'm sorry, guys. You got to be a little more more specific. I got to remember I've never done this. So tilter, uh, we got. If there are any mods you want to see me, man, try because the tilter has two outputs. Okay, one tilter, but get that belt going right and not turning again. So, what do you mean get it going right? We want to get it going right again? Uh, get rid of the two belts going north. Okay. So both of these are going to go bye-bye. 
now what now we want to do a tilter right there Bag scanner, tilt tray. Okay, so we've got the one tilt tray. Uh, get rid of the two belts going north. Yes, place the tilter at the end of the belts going east. Okay, done. Uh, take each of the outputs left and right of the tilter and bring them out by two. Take each of the outputs. Um... I don't know what that means. Take each of the outputs, left and right of the tilter. Oh, I got you. Hold on. And bring them out by two. Okay. Uh, with the regular overground belt, right? So, like right here. And right here. Just like that. Oh, from the tilter. Okay. <laughs> Pause. Cancel. Uh, bulldoze. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. So we're going to be going out like so. And so, I believe. So like that. Is that what you wanted? I'm sorry, Archie. I know you're trying to tell me to. Um, the top and bottom of the tilter. Okay, so... Uh, do I think this is better than some airport? I'm not sure yet. Give me a, give me a couple more days. Uh, take one belt in each direction that the arrows are pointing. Okay, yes, so that's good. Uh, now take those belts and connect them to a scanner. Okay. Doesn't matter which one. Uh, overground belt. So this one will have this one. Do this. This one we're going to want to go, is it the same direction? Yes. Just like that. A separate scanner for each belt. Oh, no. Pause. <laughs> uh, hold on, I gotta go back in the chat. Now take those belts and connect them to a scanner. Okay. So I messed that up again. Uh, delete this. This. Okay, connect them to a scanner. You know what? Can we... Uh, bag scanner. You know what? I am going to delete that one right there, too. And we might as well delete that one. Uh, okay, bag scanner. So we're going to put a bag scanner over here. And we're going to put a bag scanner over here. Right? Is that what you want? Okay, let's see. So you're placing a scanner after you split the belts. Cool. <laughs> it's not that funny, man. Uh, compare this game, airport versus city skylines airports. Versus the city skylines airports? Like, the airports aren't really anything special, right? A uh, one scanner for each newly split. Yes, okay. Now, once they place it, uh, take the red arrow. Okay. Take the red arrow. Place one belt going out from it. Okay, have to wait for these to show up so I can see the red arrows. To a destroyer. Okay. Um, place one belt going out from it and connect that belt to a destroyer. So do I want to have both of these bag scanners then connected to a destroyer? Both of them? So do I need two destroyers? Two destroyers. Mm, bag of destroyers. So we're gonna need two. So here and here. And then I'm guessing we're gonna have to expand even more.
Uh, you're going to need more foundation again. Yeah, I just figured that. Uh, we're at over a million bucks. We're making so much money. It's, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not wasting any money. Anyways, guys, uh, 195 of you watching right now. Thank you very much for watching. We're over two and a half hours now. Uh, not quite sure how long we're going to go. I definitely want to get this uh, this system working over here. And then, uh, because I did the foundation, we're going to have to delete this wall. Let's knock that out. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. You are running out of flights. Yeah, yeah. You're right. All right. Don't stop the live stream. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to eventually stop, right? Okay, so we're looking good, right? Foundation is expanded. Oh, that's good. Now what do I want to do? Uh, bring them to the set of arrows. Uh, now the green arrows, take those. Uh, now the green arrows, take those and bring them to the baggage bay. Um, okay. Uh, bring them to the set of arrows that points into the bay. Okay. From which one? Either one or from from both of them? Do I... Because there's, there's a set of arrows here and there's a set of arrows here. Do I want to do it from both? And if I do it from both, how is that going to work? Um, okay. From both. So baggage belts over ground. So... Uh, Let's, see, let's zoom in a little bit. So we're gonna do something like this, and then are we gonna are we gonna connect that right there? Is that that's gonna get connected right? Then what about this? Uh, if you're saying we need to do both, how does that work? Uh, both from both of the green, you gotta merge them. Okay, so can I? Does this work? You know what, I'm not, I'm so used to, um, Sim Airport where you can't, like, cross the conveyor belts. So, you know, forgive me, but that, that seems wrong. Because in Sim Airport, you cannot do that, right? Which, it, to me, it seems pretty ridiculous that you can't. But anyways, so we should be good now, huh? Have I heard of Airport Madness 3D? I have not. Uh... Okay, one of your belts has flipped the wrong way. Really? Okay. Mm. Okay, so it was one of these. Let's go ahead and delete that. We'll delete that. Hopefully none of these are flipped the wrong way. Um, let's go. Baggage belts. And... Yeah, looks, we're, we're looking good right now. All of them are facing correctly. Uh, this is going to go up. Good. Then over here, this is going to go left. And we should be good. So they should all be facing correctly, right? Uh, going out, out. Yes, yes, yes. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, this one. This one over here is wrong. Okay. Should be good now. Try connecting at a point that's not already a curve. Yeah, we got that. We should be good, right? Uh, I should. YouTube chat is fast enough since I live in the Chicago area, too. Okay, so we should be good. Just gotta wait on these guys to actually... Oh, and I deleted this one. I didn't put that one back. Uh, bam, bam. they not building this stuff man don't tell me that the uh there's like a traffic jam again nope no traffic jam everything is delivered i guess i just gotta wait on them to walk over there are you guys actually working on stuff or are you guys just hanging out just hanging out having a good time it's really weird that nobody's building any of that stuff Uh, okay. Take the belt that goes away from the bay. 
All right. And what am I doing with it? I think I have to use the tipper because it allows the bags to go in multiple directions. So this little tipper here um, will allow the bags to go both down and up. Whereas if you just had the regular conveyor, I don't think it would do that. Okay, so we're going to come here and we're going to bring it down. Uh, so let's do that and then let's bring it down. Where am I bringing it down to? Uh, then underground, then towards the main airport. Okay, so we're going to come down here. We're going to go underground. Bam, 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 and towards the main airport. Why are they not building this stuff? You guys are taking a break over there, I see. Um, you guys are still waiting on buses. Why are there no buses coming? Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's put another uh, bus stop real quick. Take a small little tiny break from building the baggage claim area. We're going to put a new bus stop over here. Uh, because apparently our buses they are just not doing a good enough job. And then, you know what, since this is taking so long, let's go ahead and let's bring in all the possible contractors that we can. Uh, we should get a bus coming in here with the new contractors. Oh, see, look at that. We have a little traffic jam over there. Okay, uh, again, we're going to have to reload the game. Um, let's go. Save. Save the stream. Save. Overwrite. Yes. And then let's go ahead and reload it. All right. Again, 195 people watching. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Press F10. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Archie, I'm sorry. I know I'm not listening to you right now. Uh, yeah, F10. Next time I'll do that. Remind me. Next time, F10. Where do you live, Joshua? Yeah, yeah I got it, Archie. I'm sorry. I'm going to do F10 from here on out. Um, Joshua, where do you live? Outside of Chicago. Yeah, we're outside of Chicago. Uh, I live in the western suburbs. Not going to reveal more. Okay, I got you. I got you. Um, western suburbs. Is that close to, like, Berwyn? The Cicero area? Traffic is working again. Further out. Okay. That's that's pretty far out. Um, well, maybe like Rosemont or something like that. Like pretty close to O'Hare, I guess. Okay. Did they finish building this? They did. Beautiful. Okay. So now we can extend that underground um, baggage. Underground is right here. We're going to need to extend that back towards the airport. It's going in the right direction. Let's bring it all the way out here. Bam. And then I'm guessing we're going to want to kind of bring that into what's going to be our baggage area, right? Further out. Uh, yeah, close-ish to O'Hare. Okay, cool. So now decide on a non-secure area for baggage claim. Okay, so we're going to do that over here. So let's, uh, let's do the foundation over here so I think we're going to do that let's just build all the way we'll do this whole thing over here I know that's going to be a huge huge area for baggage claim but you know what that's going to be fine play some new games no slack well this is a new game isn't it I mean you don't get much newer than this this game hasn't been out for like 3 or 4 days so Milwaukee? I was just in Milwaukee uh, two weeks ago. Maybe three weeks ago. 
India, yeah, I was just in India. No, I, I'm just kidding. I wasn't in India. I've never been to India. I'd be open to going, but I've never been. Okay. So this is going to be our baggage claim area. Let's go ahead and we're going to get rid of this wall. Um, and we are going to... We'll get rid of that wall right there. And we are going to probably get rid of this wall here as well. And then I think I'm just going to put down a bunch of those um, security exits. Okay, so we want to extend it. I want to put this like right here. So we need to expand the security zone. We're going to expand it over here. Good. Items, security exit. So we will do something like this. So we'll do a security exit there. I really wish these la these walls could overlap because there's no reason to have like the double walls there. But oh well, nothing we can do about that. So we'll have three exits going out over here. And then, I don't know, we could probably do something else. Um, we could probably do something else with this area over here. So we'll put the wall back right there and then we should be good. That should be definitely more than enough. And this is going to be our baggage claim area. So let's zone that area's baggage claim, this entire thing here. Baggage claim area. Good, good, good. We're going to have to expand our um, sidewalks so that people can actually walk over here. And obviously we're going to have to put down a door too. Uh, we're going to do a large door. Uh, let's do one here as well as here. And you know, we'll probably put one right there in the middle too. Good, good, good. Alright, Orange Apple, what's up? What's next? Uh, wondering the same thing. What were you guys wondering? What happened to City Skylines? Um, you know what? It's just, I don't know. I kind of lost interest in it a little bit. Uh, so, no slack. Make an oval out of above ground belts not the whole size of the claim because you want more than one eventually but not a little three by three over here okay so let's see here baggage belts uh overground we're gonna make an oval and you know what i think i see where you're going with this so let's go ahead and do something like let's do something like this So that should be good there, right? Yeah, schedule more flights. You're absolutely right. We should definitely do that, right? We're an airport. We should have more um, flights coming in. Uh, Stripe Bear, Skylink. We'll do Skylink. Uh-oh. Okay. Sign that. And we'll do Swiftly. Actually, let's do Air Strata. I like the where their, uh, their airplanes look. And let's schedule these suckers. So for Wednesday... Uh, we'll have Air Strata up here, Air Strata coming down here, more Air Strata, bam, 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 can we fit one more? Okay, no, we cannot. Uh, let's go back, let's do some Skylink now. Skylink, Skylink, and we're going to kind of squeeze these in a little bit more. Uh, in so that I can fit four of them uh, as opposed to only three. Hopefully that'll work. Bam, yes, good enough there. And then one more, can we fit it? Yes, okay, perfect. Bam, good, good, good. Uh, let's go to Thursday and let's do more of that. Confirm. Sorry, Orange, I'm not trying to ignore you, I'm just trying to do this real quick. Bam. 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 One more Skylink flight. Beautiful. And then let's go back. We've got Air Strata. We can squeeze these guys in here. I want to fill that spot too. Um, we should probably be able to get the rest of these flights in here today. Yeah, we'll definitely get these flights in here today. Do 
beautiful and beautiful. Okay, good, good, good. So we've got flights for the next two days. All right, orange apple. Now you're fine. The game definitely has a high learning curve. Yeah. I mean, this it seems to me like this isn't really self-explanatory, and I'm not quite sure that it explained this. Um, that it explained this in the actual tutorial. So the west side of the oval. Okay. What about it? That's where the bags will come in. Cool. Um, baggage belt. I'm guessing overground. Uh, okay. Underground belt and get it there. Cool. Underground belt. So we are going to do something like... Zoom in here a little bit just because it's a little bit uh, weird with the... Um, with the flashing yellow freaking light. Okay. Nope, going the wrong direction. Uh, and that's going. It, it goes in the direction. That's really weird. It goes in the direction that you move it, not. Uh, not the, the direction that the arrows are actually facing. Demolish. Demolish, demolish, demolish. Underground. I'm asking you to demolish it. Why are the arrows still showing up? Okay. Underground belt. We are going to go from here to here, rotate that sucker, and we're going to come down here. Should be good, right? Uh, the underground should curve into an overground right as it merges hits the old. Uh, underground should curve into an overground. Underground there, and then an underground that is going to extend two more. So bam, and bam, bam. Beautiful. That should be great. That should be exactly what we want to do right there. Uh, get it down a couple. Yeah, that is good. 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 Now we should have a fully functioning, at least first baggage area, right? Now check the following things. A baggage room, not claim, is in a secure area. Baggage room, so this one over here, right? So I want to make this secure. Uh, yeah, okay. Employees can get to it by foot. Good. Um, I don't think they can get to it by foot, uh, just because we don't have sidewalks. No, don't. <laughs> Archie, you're not agreeing with what Orange is saying? Turn it on. Okay. So, activate. Yeah, it's activated. Verify that this baggage bay is connected to a check-in desk and all that stuff. Archie, what are you saying, dude? Make the oval bigger. Okay, we can we can always make it bigger. Relax, hold on. Um, make the oval bigger. <laughs> no, it's like you don't have any food areas. Yep, I know. I know. We've spent the last, I don't know, 40 minutes trying to figure out this baggage system. Make the baggage room a staff room. What? <laughs> We've got five different people trying to tell me what to do here, guys. Uh, remove the secured area in the baggage room. Uh, you guys are contradicting yourselves. Don't make it secured. Okay. 
Mm, secure aerial matter later. If you want to remove it now, that's okay. Uh, okay. Let's, I guess let's remove it, because a lot of people are adamant about removing it. Anyways. Uh, maybe the sharpest open room, blah, blah, blah. Make the baggage area the CEO office. What? Make the baggage area the CEO office. You're you're a joker, Bruce. Uh, you'll need security if you want to make it blah, blah, blah. Make baggage room staff zone, blah, blah, blah. Okay, orange. Come on. No, I don't have any food areas. I do have a shop. Um, we made a shop over here, which looks like they ended their contract. So we're going to sign a new one. 18%. Um, heck yeah. Sign contract with them. We're gonna start bringing in junk, and should start selling some stuff too, pretty soon. All right, let's see. Uh, orange apple. Get a sidewalk to the baggage room. Well, I mean, we do have a sidewalk right there, um, but I don't know, like, where are we gonna do the sidewalk? Should we do it down here? Should we make a sidewalk all the way from down here? Uh, yes, I do follow Major League Soccer. Just a little bit, though. Seattle Sounders, that's really the only team that I care about. Wondering if Checkpoint would interfere. Well, I mean, I could. I don't think it would, because I think the Checkpoint's only for cars. So I think I could do the sidewalk. Um, Archie, yes, do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so sidewalk. So we're going to build a sidewalk all the way along this freaking building which it's a little ridiculous that the uh, the workers can't can't like walk anywhere I mean I kinda get it but at the same time I don't okay so there we've got a sidewalk that's eventually gonna go this entire area Uh, Archie, quickly make a tutorial. <laughs> no slack. I want to thank you for your service, dude. Absolutely, man. Came out of the military as a sergeant. Now you want to entertain people. I think that's awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very, very, very much. You know what the funny thing is? Uh, probably I don't know, three, four years after I got out, I actually looked into going back into the military. And they told me, like, yeah, sure, come back. But they were going to take away my sergeant rank. They were going to send me back in as a specialist, which is the rank right below sergeant. I was like, well, that doesn't make sense. Why would I do that? And pretty much their answer was, well, why would we bring you back in as a sergeant when we can bring in two brand new privates that are going to end up making the same amount of money as a sergeant? Which, I get it from their perspective, but at the same time, you know, so I almost went back into the military. Uh, if I had, if I had stayed in the military, I'd be retired in uh, six years. In six years, I'd be able to retire. But, oh well. I don't regret it. I don't regret it. Um, let's see, so the sidewalks are being built, now what do we need to do? Add a fence. We'll do the fence later. Still plenty of sidewalk left to build over here. David, yeah, I remember you, that's why you're still a, a mod. How'd that uh, Motorsport Manager livestream go yesterday? Pretty good, right? Now you're going to want to do is connect the desks to the bay. Okay, I can do that. Every single one of them, though, right? That's going to be kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt. But anyways, baggage bay connection, connect baggage bay. Bam. 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 Shwing. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Every single one of them is connected. Yep, every single one of them is connected. Good, good, good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Craig. What were you? Uh, what was your MOS? What did you do in the military? And don't give me like the uh, it's 95 Bravo thing. Just tell me. <laughs> I don't know all the all the classifiers. You know. Uh, you got the app. Nice. Okay. Hopefully you like Motorsport Manager then. 
Connect the plane stands to the bay as well. Yes, that makes sense. Connect baggage bay. Bam, bam. Connect baggage bay. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so that's done there. Love it, good. Yeah, I, I agree with you. That's why I've done like 40 episodes of it. It's because it's a lot of fun. Uh, connect the bay to the gates. Yep, that's already done. Now I think I need to also connect the bay to the baggage claim area, right? Yeah, connect baggage bay. Bam. That is good there too. Now what? Can you zoom out to do an overview? Yeah, this is the pretty much, this is the overview right here. Our little uh, entrance area where they go through the gates, so they go through security, and then this is our little Y terminal here, which I originally wanted to do uh, gates on each side. We could still do it over here, but uh, we're obviously not going to get any gates going in on this side. Turn the bay on. Okay. Activated. It is done. And then I think now I have to do the um, have to do it down here, right? In operations, baggage handling system enabled, and everything should be good. I think that is, is that it. What can I expect from military life? Well, expect to be told what to do for a long time. I don't know how many years you signed up for, but uh, pretty much the entire time you're in the military, you are going to be told what to do. And you just have to learn how to just accept it. Just do it. Alright, let's see. Um, it should work. Should work. Okay. I guess we'll, uh, we'll see soon whether it works or not. Um, I do want to get rid of this. Because uh, we have these now and I want them going through there. So we're going to go ahead we're going to get rid of these. And you know what I think? Actually, hold on. We are going to bulldoze this right there and then I think I'm gonna actually do something that another youtuber did because I really like the idea of it um, this is going to be passengers only employees are not gonna be going through any of these which for now I'm only gonna turn off those two um, let's go ahead and we're gonna build the wall out right there and then let's go ahead and we're actually going to do E, uh, where, oh, where is it? Uh, yes, small security checkpoint. We can do two of them. So we'll do the two and then we're going to assign those to be employee only. And then they can go up into the secure area. Yeah, that's going to work out perfectly for us, I think. And then we do have some extra security guards that can work that, no problem. Bam, and bam, looking good. So this is going to be, hold on. This is going to be employees only. Yep, 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 that's going to be employees only. We're going to turn this off for employees so that they're not uh, taking up space. It's going to be strictly for the passengers. And then, yeah, see, look at that. We've got our employees only going quite sure why they're not using this one. Man, that guy just magically popped out of nowhere. Oh yeah, we need baggage trucks too. Dang it. Alright, let's see. Uh, sorry, I'm going to go back through some of your... And this is really weird how it's... Uh, let's see, if, if I alt out... I don't know if it's still... Okay, it's still going good. Nope, it's still... Every time I like zoom up on the chat, or zoom down, it kind of goes with it. Anyways, um, it looks like he doesn't have baggage trucks. No slack. Did H? Uh, baggage trucks. Okay, we have to do those real quick. Um, do you want to delay? Yes, we're gonna delay. Um, yeah, we do have to buy baggage trucks. Um, that is procurement, and we need to do the craft of truck, right? So one. Delay. Yes. Order now. Done. Order now. Done. Order now. So we're going to have four. Four service trucks. We should be able to see these guys come in. Did they already come in? 
There they go. Service truck coming in right now. Beautiful, beautiful. Yep, going through the checkpoint. Coming up here. Alright, going to the gate, right? They're probably going to go grab some stuff. No, they're going into the vehicle depot. Uh, okay, great. He, uh, he grabbed all this stuff. Why are you coming all the way down here to do a U-turn? That's crazy, man. That's crazy. So all those guys have to go all the way back down. Interesting. Okay. Yes, we are going to delay these flights. Just because I want to give these guys what they need. We want to service these guys. Okay, let's watch this one. So this guy's going to come over here. He's going to, I'm guessing, unload all the bags, right? Uh, service round completed. Baggage unloading process. Did he do that? I didn't see him really grab any luggage. Anyways, I'm guessing these guys are going to come down here into the bay. Really? That's, that's really weird, the way that they do that. Coming in here, they're going to unload, huh? <laughs> that was weird, why did you guys do it that way? Uh, delay, yes, I want to delay. So we do have luggage right there, that's good. Um, is somebody going to go pick it up now? Okay, workers are there. Uh, interesting. Is stuff going to start getting brought out over here? Hmm. Alright, so clearly something is going on. Let me go check the chat real quick. Um, I use a Blue Yeti microphone. Looks like he doesn't have baggage trucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so close. Uh, when he comes back, the airport is going to be blown up. What? We broke the stream. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, why isn't it working? It's stuttering a lot, huh? Sorry, guys. Fuel Depot says half gas instead of jet fuel. And we have two. We have both. The Fuel Depot. See, we have both. We have half gas and we have jet. Uh, check your baggage bay room and see if things are working. Oh, wait. And they're picking the baggage up right here. Things are getting picked up. Wow, look at that. That thing is just going crazy. Cargo Annihilator. That's kind of cool, though. I like that. Okay, so things are definitely moving. The ramp agents are loading stuff up over here. Yeah, see, if I try to speed up the game to speed 3, it just stutters so much. Uh, we're going to leave things on speed 1. So that, that looks to be uh, working. Sorry, man. One minute ad? Really? In the middle of a stream? There's a one minute ad? That doesn't seem right. I, I always thought the ads were just like at the very beginning of, um, of the videos. Okay, so these guys are all just standing here waiting on luggage to arrive. Hopefully it does. Um, I'm thinking too, why don't we... You know, I really want to see some of this luggage come out. And you know what? Oh, okay, I got you when you're reloading. Um, you're watching on two devices. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, have a good day. Okay, have a good one. Uh, and I want to honor you in a way, my special way, P.O. Box. I'll send you. Okay, cool. Um, uh, well. Uh, yeah. Baggage uh, claim room is turned off. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. You're absolutely right. Baggage claim room is on. Bam. Who said that? Adriana, thank you very much. Keep this airport and remove the others. Uh, is the baggage claim turned on? It is now. Uh, did I crawl under barbed wire? Yeah, absolutely. Had to do it. You crawl under barbed wire, they shoot over your head. All that fun stuff. 
And I remember when we had to do that, the ground was frozen. So we were crawling on like frozen mud and it actually like hurt your elbows a lot. Your elbows and your knees were, were toast. What's up, Jickle? Jickle Pickle? What's up, CJ? Yep, yep, I know. I know, I see ya, I see ya. I like how these guys are like right in the middle of our conveyor belt too. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Let's go ahead and let's add in another conveyor belt. Um, let's see if I can get that working. Uh, I'm not gonna look for advice. <laughs> I should be able to get this working, come on. All right, um, let's do one right here. Yeah, I don't really wanna make this one too much larger. Uh, I'm not gonna make it larger at all, as a matter of fact. Uh, so let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Come down here, come back up. Good, good, good. Yes, I wanna delay. We are going to go ahead, we're going to do the same thing with the underground belt. I'm going to go like so. Then we're going to do the overground belt, and that should be able to connect it perfectly. Yeah. Now we should be able to have both of those working after it gets built, obviously. Yes, I want to delay the flight. Oh, I guess the flight just left. Definitely need a lot more janitors. Come on, guys. Build it, build it, build it. Ah, warning. Only one baggage loop per bay game will mess up if you try to do two. What? Baggage bay? Baggage loop? Really? Game will mess up. Well, let's see. Let's see if it does mess up. Uh, I was late as long as the stream been going for. Three hours and 12 minutes and 10 seconds. Uh, check the baggage line. Do you remember any of the Cadence songs from PT Running? A little bit. Um, from Running? You know, I don't really remember the Running ones. I remember maybe a couple of the Marching ones, but not the Running ones. You haven't connected it right. How have I not connected it right? I have the Underground one going. Uh, looks good there. And then, yeah, I mean, it looks connected right to me. Uh, best thing to do is add another bay. Don't worry, adding a second one is easier than adding the first. Oh, boy. So I'm thinking maybe we should just make this one bigger. Like was suggested. Uh, basic training. I did basic training and IT both at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Fort Lost in the Woods. You need a tilt tray for that. Okay. Uh, so what? We need the tilt tray. Where do we need the tilt tray? Later, David. Uh, yeah, making the existing one bigger is the temporary solution. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, there is extreme lag. I apologize for that. Um... I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, Felix T, have a good one. Yes, after all the sorting mumbo-jumbo, you can just add the tilt trays uh, that go to a different thing. Uh, tilt trays that go off to different things. Uh, I'm not going to... It's not going to work. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to do the temporary solution. Um, let's go ahead. Let's bulldoze this. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are going to bulldoze this, and we're just going to make this one bigger. Um, so, let's go ahead and bulldoze y'all, and we'll bulldoze that right there. No, we're not going to do that. Get out of here. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to make these bigger. Uh, I want to bulldoze this as well. I really want them to delete that one down there. Come on, move that one. Okay. And we will do something like this. I'm going to make this one pretty, like, ridiculously large. And hopefully that works. Now, I wonder why are all these people just hanging out? What are you doing? Your fun is no good. Hunger. 
Yeah, we need to get shops. We need to get food shops, without a doubt. Yes, we are going to delay, build this, start working. Hopefully that'll fix itself. Um, lag on your computers because of number of people at night tonight. Send all passengers home. No, we're not going to delay. Where, okay, where's debug? Is it, is it F10? Look at the bunched up people by the exit. Yeah, there's a bunch of people there. Not really a bunch. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. All those people. We have a bunch of people. A bunch. A lot of these guys are just hanging out. And look at all that trash, too. Um, F10. Yep, F10. Not working. F10's not doing anything. Um, real quick, give me some advice here, guys. My keyboard only goes to F8. So then to get to F10, I just hit Shift F2, right? Uh, Patrick the Fox, yes, I spent a year in Iraq, 2003 to 2004. I guess. <laughs> That's how it works at work. If I want to do F10, then just, uh... Nope, nope, that's not, uh, not what I wanted. Nope, not what I wanted. Get out of there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, now I'm stuck. Yep, alright, we're messed up. Oh, there we go. We're back. Is it going to work? Yeah. Okay, good. Got out of that. Function key in F2. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, not working. Oh well, you know what? Not a big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and send a lot of these workers home though. Now I can't even pull up. Oh wow, I can't pull up any of this stuff. Alright guys, I think, you know what? This is probably going to be the end of the stream. Yeah, I need a new keyboard. You're right. This is like the stock one that came with the computer. Actually, this is the stock one that came with the computer I had before I had this computer. So this keyboard here is ridiculously old. Um, yeah, guys, I think that's the end of the stream. Um, thank you very much. Now I kind of have a good idea. You know what? I'm going to do this real quick, too. I'm going to take a screenshot of this just so I don't forget. And I want to see how this looks just so I can kind of have a general idea of how the baggage claim system works. And, um, yeah, I think we're going to be good, guys. That is the end of the stream. I'm probably going to go and I'm going to record some actual Let's Play series of, uh, of Airport CEO. And uh, that's it. I already tried Escape. I tried Escape. I tried Tab, F1. None of that stuff works. Uh, Control Escape. Uh, that took me out of the game. Nope. Um, yep. Nope. Nope. We're done. We're done. It's not working, guys. Uh, I can't even get to the... Uh, can't even get to the main menu. Control escape didn't work. No. Alt escape didn't work. Um, I can go to the windows and then I can just like exit out of the game. But uh, nothing's working, guys. How to press F10 and <laughs> on keyboards you get with the computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, guys, thank you very much for watching. I think we got over 200, uh, 200 people at once a few times. Uh, a Corsair K10 keyboard. I'll look at it. Uh, key control shift escape. <laughs> uh, try every key on the keyboard. Yeah. 
Uh, that brings that up again. Nope. Nope, I'm just pressing random buttons now. Most of them are just taking me out of the game. Uh, which is funny, because I can still fast forward, I can pause. It's just not... Uh, yeah, it's not working. Guys, again, you know what, that is it. For sure, 100%, that is it. Uh, end of the stream. Thank you very much for coming out. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do tomorrow's episode of the uh, the Let's Play series. And then, uh, also, be sure uh, Motorsport Manager is going to be up tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably release Airport CEO around 8 a.m., as usual. Then I think I'll do a Motorsport Manager episode later in the day. And uh, that's going to be that. Well, hey, no Slack fan, you just joined, I'm sorry, but uh, that is the end of the stream. Three hours and 21 minutes, not bad at all. Thank you very much for helping me, especially uh, Orange Angle for giving me that $2 donation at the beginning of the episode. And, um... You want me to message you on Steam? Heck yeah, if you want to uh, message me about more stuff to do with a baggage claim, go for it. I'd be more than happy to... Uh, to get that or if you want to do it on Steam or if you want to do it on Twitter just uh, follow me on Twitter I'll follow you back and we can send DMs that way or whatnot you know what real quick um I'm gonna give you guys the link to the no slack discord server that way if you guys ever want to chat there or anything uh, feel free to join it'll be a good place to go uh, yep let's go here invite this link will never expire, okay guys? So if you guys want to join, I uh, highly suggest you guys follow me there. No Slack Discord server, right there. Come and join, and uh, yeah, we'll be able to talk a lot more there. Okay, guys. Uh, yep, that is it. Uh, I will see you guys later on the next episode or on the next video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you again very much for coming out. Uh, Orange Apple, you're awesome. Um, thanks for the donation again. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.